Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Marty, shh, please. I am trying to write an email to the other people in my science fail group. And you're really being loud. Oh, sorry. Mm. These Doritos are good. Now you're crunching too loud. Picky, picky. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just sitting here watching cops. No, Molly, I want you to get up and do your chores, please. Please vacuum the floor. But, Mom, I can't move. I'm too full of Doritos. What? Doritos? You're not supposed to be eating those. Go in the kitchen and eat something healthy if you're hungry. Who said anything about being hungry? I just like the taste of Doritos. Molly, oh, you're killing me here. You're killing me. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Ugh. Do I really have to vacuum? Yes! Okay. Chores are so lame. Aww. Molly, everyone has to pitch in so that the house is nice and clean and runs smoothly. All I hear you say is blah, 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 blah. Boss Molly around, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you are vacuuming the floor. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to turn into a couch potato. Too late. Oh, could I, could I eat some potato chips, Mom? I'm still kind of hungry. No, of course you can't, Molly. Have an apple. Apple? No way. Molly, you can't just eat bad food all the time. Your body needs healthy things. Ugh. Eat healthy, Molly. Vacuum the floor, Molly. Be quiet, Molly. Can I finally watch my cops episode while eating this apple? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Molly, have you done your homework? Huh? What? Can't hear you. She asked if you've done your homework. Uh, yeah, sure. Molly, if you did your homework, let me see it. Oh, um, uh, okay. Ugh, homework, homework, homework. Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Where's my homework? Okay, here it is. Here you go, Mom. Molly, this is just a blank piece of paper. There's nothing on it. Oh, um, yeah, well, <laughs> that's just because you can't see it because you have grown-up eyes. Yeah, that's it. It's magical homework. Molly, are you really thinking that I'm going to believe you on this one? She knows you're being ridiculous, Molly. <laughs> Me? Ridiculous? I'm offended that you guys would think I was ridiculous. Of course it's magic homework. Molly, I wasn't born yesterday. This is a blank piece of paper. Do your homework. Wow, snappy. Do your homework right now. Okay, fine. Ugh. My mom is so bossy. She just makes me do stuff all the time that I don't want to do. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the opposite of what my mom says for 24 hours. <laughs> Molly, would you please mop the floor too? <sighs> my feet are sticking to it. It's really gross. You're supposed to mop. Actually, Daisy's supposed to mop. No, I didn't. Um, last week, Molly, it's your turn. Okay, Mom, I'll mop the floor. Not. I'm going to do the opposite of what she says and chill on the couch. Bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? <laughs> Molly, um, it's time for dinner. Come on, girls. Daisy. Oh, boy, dinner. What are we having? Pizza? No, we're having a delicious chicken bake with healthy vegetables. Ugh! Sounds miserable. I think it sounds delicious. Of course you would, Daisy. Ugh. I know what to do with this. 
<laughs> Hi, Coco. <laughs> Do you want a delicious chicken dinner with vegetables? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> you can have all of it. Ugh. Who wants to eat that when you can have a candy bar? <laughs> Molly, are you letting are you letting Coco eat your dinner? Who me? No, never. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna tell Mom. Tattletale! You better not. Okay, fine, Molly, but you better not feed that food to the dog. Hmm. Well, this Hershey bar is delicious, and a donut to wash it down. <laughs> Ugh. Kind of got a stomach ache. Oh well, it's still delicious. Molly, did you finish your homework? Yeah, sure, I got it all done. Wait, Mom, where are you? I'm over here. No, you're all over there. Wait, wait, wait. She's magic, she disappeared! Mom? 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 Molly, what are you doing? <laughs> that was funny. I'm trying to get the laundry done. Would you like to help? Um, let me think about that for a minute. Uh, eh, uh, eh. No! Oh, Molly, you're so helpful, aren't you? <sighs> okay, why don't you go take a bath? It's almost time for bed. Okay! Bath. <laughs> I'm not taking a bath. Where's a giant mud puddle I can splash in? That sounds like a much better idea. Aren't there any mud puddles in Brookhaven? A, a girl doesn't want to take a bath, unless it's a mud bath. <laughs> I have an idea. Since I have to do the opposite of everything my mom says, I have to get very dirty right now. I know the perfect place. La 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 la. I'm gonna roll around in the dumpster. <laughs> Wait, where is the dumpster? Oh, there it is. This is going to be epically smelly. Whee! <laughs> oh, it's stinky in here. Oh, I smell so bad. It's perfect. Wow. The stink is just wafting off of me. <laughs> I am surrounded in a stink cloud. Perfect. Oh, what is that awful smell? It smells like a dead fish mixed with a sewer. Ew. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you want to switch beds with me tonight? Uh, not really. I like my bed. It's comfortable. <coughs> I can't breathe. Wait a minute. Molly, is that you that smells that way? And you wanted to sleep in my bed? Well, I don't want to make my bed smell bad. Molly, get out of my bed right this instant. Molly, ew. I'm telling Mom. You better not. You're a tattletale. Okay, fine. I'll just wear my gas mask and change my sheets. But why don't you take a bath? And what were you doing? Rutting with the pigs? Something like that. <laughs> Ugh, oh, what's that smell? Oh, wait, it's still Molly. <laughs> Daisy, come closer, come closer. Ah, get away from me! Girls, what are you doing? Mom, why are you still standing in front of the washing machine? Because there's so much laundry. I'm still doing another load of it this morning. Wow, you do a lot of laundry. You girls go through a lot of clothes. Ew, what's that smell? Are you wearing the same clothes you did yesterday? Those aren't clean anymore. I know they're not clean. <laughs> Molly, go change right this instant. <coughs> Molly, the bus is here. Molly, oh my goodness. Do you have gym clothes in your bag? Uh, yeah. Just change into those when you get to school so you're not late. Come on, go before you miss the bus. Have a great day, Molly. Don't get detention. Uh, no promises. Mom says I have to get on the bus. There's the bus. But since it's still 24 hours, I have to do the exact opposite of what Mom says. <laughs> Dad? Oh, hi. Dad, what are you doing? I really didn't want to go to work today, so I'm hiding in the bushes. Dad? Get out of here. This is my hiding space. Okay, Dad. Whatever. You're going to get fired. Oh, uh, no. I'm just going to take a personal day. I need to hide from the world. Me too. Well, pick your own hiding spot. And also, you smell terrible. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, another long day of work. Hopefully Molly doesn't get detention. <laughs> Mom's gone. Well, Mom, I can't get detention because I'm not actually at school. <laughs> ah, finally, 
Now I can watch my favorite show without anybody irritating me. Okay, is Cops not on? Because that will make me sad. Oh, yeah, Cops is on. Oh, yeah. Gonna eat some Doritos. Gonna chill out. Mm. Doing the opposite of what my mom said for 24 hours was the best decision of my life. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot my purse. Molly? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Molly, did you just skip school? Why do you still smell? Why are you eating unhealthy food? Um, well, I was sort of just getting a little sick of you bossing me around all the time, so I decided to do the opposite of what you said for 24 hours. Molly! I tell you these things because I want you to be healthy and successful and a good human being. Oh, you drive me crazy. And to that end, you're grounded for an entire week. What? An entire week? Yes. Now go take a bath so I can drive you to school, Stinky. Oh, man. This opposites thing didn't work out at all. Chop, chop, Molly. Chop, chop. Okay, fine. I could go to school smelly. No way. Hurry. Um, if you're thinking about doing the opposite of what your mom says, here's my advice. Don't! Molly, are you coming to study hall? Huh? Nah, I'm going to stay here in the gym and work on my um jump shot. But Molly, gym class is over. I don't really have anything to study, and I prefer staying in the gym. Study hall is so boring. Okay, well, suit yourself. I don't want to be late. Bye. Bye. I think I did awesome in the just this gym class. I um got so many baskets. It was awesome. You think you actually did good? Who said that? Oh, should have known it was Sarah. Sarah, I don't want to talk to you right now. Did you just throw that ball at my head? No, not really. <laughs> kind of, sort of, maybe. That was rude. Sorry, um, I did, really didn't mean to. Well, I'm the best basketball player. Everyone in gym class saw it today. No, they didn't. You know I'm a great basketball player. I even made it onto the team. What team? There's only a boys team. Yeah, but one time I dressed up as a boy and then tried out for the team and I made it. I don't believe you. Whatever. Look at that. I just got another one. You're just a loser. No, I'm not. I'm great at basketball. <sighs> Whatever. I'm great at cheerleading. I'm great at all of my schoolwork. I'm great at everything, including basketball. Yeah, okay, if you say so. If you don't think so, why don't we just have a competition? Yeah, okay, we can have a competition. Whoever gets the most baskets wins. Yeah, um, let's say in one minute. One minute? Holy guacamole! That's not very much time. What are you, chicken? No, I'm not chicken. I can do it. Then let's get started. I'll go first. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, she's getting so many baskets. How am I going to ever win? Oh, I want to be the best basketball player. She always bullies me, and I want to show her that I'm good at something. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. Time's up. I got 50 baskets. 50? Holy guacamole. Your turn, loser. You can't keep throwing baskets. Your turn's over, Sarah. Sarah! Okay, whatever. You're so annoying. On your mark and set, go. One. Two. Oh my gosh, I've gotten every one so far. I'm doing really good. Oh no, I missed that one. It's okay. I'm okay. okay watch this. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> that was amazing. Your time's almost up. Okay, I've got, I've got to do more. I've got to do more. <laughs> 51, 51. I win, I win. Oh, yeah? <laughs> now who's the loser? Ah, oh, Sarah, you, you pushed me. Oh, I hit my head. I don't feel so good. Uh. Oh, sucks to be you. I'm out of here. Molly, you're going to miss English. Molly? Ma Molly! Oh, my God, Molly, somebody called 911. Okay, let's see. 
Molly. Hmm. Okay, are you the sister? Yes. <laughs> Is she going to be okay? Well, your sister actually suffered a pretty bad bonk on the head. I know. Save a push till she got in school suspension for it. Wow, sounds serious. Well, um, I don't know about that drama, but your sister got a bad concussion and now has amnesia. Amnesia? Is that where they can't remember who they are? That's exactly what happened. I don't know if your sister's memory will ever return. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Who am I? You're Molly! Don't you remember? The best thing you can do is try to jar her memory. Ah, but I don't hold a lot of hope for your sister. But thanks for the positivity! Ay, 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 the doctor's around you. Who am I? You're Molly! <laughs> Who am I? You're Molly! Who are you? I'm Daisy. I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. You're Molly. I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. Who am I? Oh, boy. Baby, if I remind you with some of the amazing memories we had together. I remember one time like it was yesterday. We are um, having our summer break starting today. And we're at the lake. Yeah, we're going to have so much fun. Daisy, I didn't ask you, ask you to be in this scene. Well, I'm a part of this channel, too. I could be in it if I want to. Okay, close up of just me because I don't want my sister to be in it. Molly, rude! Ugh, fine. I guess you can say hi, too. Of course I can, Molly. Hi, everybody. It's Stacy, the star of the show. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. Molly, seriously, can we both be the stars? Nope, just me. Whatever! I'm gonna go get in the water. I can't deal with my sister anymore. This is gonna be the longest summer break ever. I'm already missing school. Yeah, you would miss school. It's just like you to miss school. Ooh, the lake feels awesome today. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Ah, this is the life. When I grow up, I'm just gonna be on vacation permanently. Molly, you have to have a job. No, I don't. Who says? Um, well, if you're going to be able to afford to come to the lake every day, you got to have money. Ugh. There's that naggy thing about having money. I wish I could just, like, chill out all day long. Molly, what are you doing? I'm starting a fire so we can roast marshmallows. Ah. <sighs> Wee! Don't, don't get in the cooler, Mom didn't say. Molly, she can have something to drink if she wants. Just because she's little, she's still thirsty sometimes. Don't you want a baba? No, I got you to want a soda. Soda? Ugh, you're so grown up, baby Kira. Molly, do you remember me now? Huh? Who, who's Molly? Molly, you're Molly. Do you remember yourself? Who are you? I'm your sister, Daisy. Okay, I'm going to have to tell her more memories. I also remember when... <laughs> Baby Kira, I promise it's really not that bad. Our dentist is so nice and, and, and well, it doesn't hurt or anything. She's freaking out. It's no use. Hello, who's next? Oh, Molly, Daisy, and a brand new patient. Baby Kira. Yeah, my sister is freaking out. Well, come on, baby Kira. Let's see if we can turn that frown upside down. I got good dentist. No, I freak out. No, no, no. You won't freak out. Come on. I'll hold your hand. La, 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 la. My sister is freaking out. I'm going to sit here with her, though, because I'm a nice big sister like that. Okay, baby Kira, dry your eyes. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, I try. You know what always makes a lot of my patients feel better? A new little friend. I got a monkey. Whoa, I never got a monkey. I want a monkey. You're a big kid now, Molly. But baby Kira is, well, just little. How about this adorable monkey? Do you want to give him a squeeze? Maybe a little hug? I got him. I, I named him uh, Marvin. Wow, <laughs> that's a very interesting name. Marvin the monkey. Okay, what's his name for sure? Marv. Oh, okay. Marv the monkey. I the monkey go kill. All right. Now those tears are drying up real quick. Now we're going to tickle your teeth. That's right. Tickle, tickle. 
I just realized that my dentist is a little cray cray, but it's all right. She's super nice, right? I think. Am I gonna have to have a root canal? I hope not, Molly. <laughs> and I'm crazy for teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. Yes, I do. I love teeth. How about you? Brushing, flossing, make them shine. That's how I've kept my teeth of mine. Wow, Dr. Payne. Good thing you became a dentist because your singing voice is well. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm not the best singer, but I'm happy to be a dentist. Well, if that's your calling in life. I don't know to want to anymore. Oh, I haven't even tickled your teeth yet. Okay, let's tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickling your teeth. Huh, well, I guess baby Kira isn't so sad anymore. Look at her face. And her teeth are super shiny and white. <laughs> I think that she's going to love the dentist from here on out. Okay, baby Kira, you're all done. Uh, and just for being a good girl, I'm going to give you a coupon for a free donut at Starbucks. I get donut, you hear that? I get donut. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it my turn next? Sure is, Molly. Okay, let me take a look. Hmm. Have you been brushing? Uh-huh. And flossing? Um, uh, well, um, uh... Molly, you haven't been flossing? That's disappointing. I know, I'm sorry, I'll try harder. What's this blue stuff in between your teeth? Uh, uh, blueberries, yeah. Um, more like blueberry icing from a blueberry donut. I'm very sorry, Molly, but you have a cavity. What? What? A cavity? Oh, no. Yep, I'll just need to give you a little bit of a shot. Nope, nope, I'm out of here. Uh, it's Daisy's turn! Daisy! Molly, it's your turn! Come on! Next time, maybe you'll floss and eat less donuts. Oh, man! Molly, do you remember who you are now? Mm, this is good. What is this? It's called a hot dog. But do you remember who you are? Mmm, hot dogs are delicious. No, I still have no clue who I am. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I also remember when. It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's like raining so hard. Let me under there too. You losers need to move over. She already told you our name isn't Loser. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh man, this totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, Loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called Loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were Losers. You want to hang out with us now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on, let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days, and then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I dare you, Molly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa, this is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. No, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Molly? M Molly? Oh my god, she's under the water, Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly? Molly? Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick up my sister, she's obviously hurt! Molly, see something, anything! Look at her leg, it looks broken! I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of... Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog tearing her. Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... 
I'm sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Bye. Sarah? Oh, I just figured she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to Double Dog. I mean, Triple Dog daring my sister. Oh, my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. <laughs> Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. As soon as you get to the hospital, they'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog deal. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I can still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop? At the drive-thru? Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. Molly, are you even listening? <laughs> Molly, wake up! Huh, what? Nurse, nurse, there's a crazy lady in here yelling at me! That crazy lady is your sister. I have a sister? Where, where is she? I'm your sister, Daisy. Oh, this is no use. Okay, I have one last memory to share with you. Then I'll have to let you go forever. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to let that go. <laughs> I thought we were talking about letting things go. Ew, it smells horrible. Okay, fine. I'll stay here and tell you that. Even though you fought it and it smells awful. Daisy? Is, is that you? Molly? Uh, are you okay? Daisy, I remember you. Oh, I'm so happy. Although for a minute there, I thought maybe I would get rid of my annoying sister. You really want to get rid of me? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh. I remember everything. Sarah pushed me and I fell and hit my head. Oh, she is a horrible bully. Yeah, she got in school suspension for that one. Holy guacamole, she did? Yeah, and you better rest, Molly. I don't want you to strain yourself. Does that mean I don't have to do any homework? Yep, not until you feel better. Then I feel terrible! For at least another week or so. Oh, Molly, same old sister I've always known. Excuse me, class. I think I'm catching a cold. Oh, no, Mrs. Smith. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, thank you, Brookie. Achoo! Why didn't you stay home today, Mrs. Smith? Um, because I wanted to make sure you guys got all of your lessons in. All right. Um, everyone open your, your English books to page 25, please. Molly, where's your English book? Molly, stop staring out the window. Ugh, Molly, you're daydreaming again. Huh, what? You're daydreaming again, Molly. Achoo! Well, <laughs> you know, everybody always says, have big dreams, so that's exactly what I'm doing. <gasps> There's a difference between having big dreams, Molly, and staring out the window when you're supposed to be paying attention in English class. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about a new business, one where I set up a shop outside and sell pizzas to everybody at lunch. 
Pizza could be a delicious business. She does have a point, Mrs. Smith. That is a good idea. Okay, everybody, open your English books to page 20. Uh, uh, achoo! Five. Oh. Okay, let me just look in my backpack. Um, no, baby bottle, no. A toy hippo, no. <gasps> look at this monkey! Isn't he adorable? Aww. Molly, your English book! Whoa, she's getting mad. Okay, I've got it. Oh, I just need to lay down. Oh. Okay, let's quietly read to ourselves for the next 20 minutes while I just rest for a minute. Wow, you sound so sick, Mrs. Smith. Don't worry, we'll read the pages you told us to. You can just relax. Man, she's always pushing us to work, 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 work. Even when she's sick, all she can think about is pushing us to work. Maybe she could, you know, give us tons of homework and tests, too. Thanks for reminding me, Molly. There's definitely a test in the little... Oh, achoo! Bit. Oh... Mrs. Smith actually fell asleep. I thought I was the only naughty one that fell asleep in school. She's sick, Molly. Give her a break. You guys ever notice that she always wants us to do work? I do, Molly, but I don't mind too much homework. Come on, Daisy. Even you were complaining about it last night. Yeah, she does give us a lot of work. I say we take some of that shrinking potion and see what's in her brain. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I come? Well, Brookie, there's only enough potion left for two people. You have to stay here and be the lookout in case someone comes in. We don't want anybody seeing us climbing in through her nose. Ew, you have to climb in through her nose? Gross! Oh, ew, Molly. We could go in through her ew. Oh, yeah. That would be a better idea than, you know, getting tangled in a bunch of boogers. Oh. Ew! Okay, Molly. I've got the shrinking potion. So you agree to go inside the teacher's brain? Yeah, I want to kind of see what she's doing. What she's thinking, too. Well, Daisy, bottoms up. Good luck, you guys. I hope you figure out why the teacher does what she does. Me, too. Me, too. Molly, do you feel like you're shrinking? I do. Well, you still look huge. What's that supposed to mean? Just kidding. You're definitely shrinking down. Oh, my gosh, Molly. You look so adorable. <laughs> Thanks, Brookie. Oh, I can't jump even up onto your desk. I'm too tiny. Come on, Molly. We have to go in before the teacher wakes up. Oh, I have so many tests to grade. <sighs> Going into our teacher's brain. Whoa! This is crazy! I know, Molly. Tell me about it. Good morning, class. Wait a minute. We went inside her brain, Daisy, and we're still in school? This is boring. I think this is... One of her, her, her thoughts or her memories or something. Okay, everyone. Um, uh, it's just me and Daisy today. Oh, okay. Well, perfect. You guys can do the homework of the entire class then. What? No way. I'm tired of doing all this work. Why do you keep making us do all the work? Oh, you're right. Life should be fun. Why are you guys doing all this schoolwork all the time? Yeah, exactly. You guys can do anything you want. Really? Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha Well, then I'm out of here. Time to eat all the pizza. Molly, don't you think that's weird that the teacher said that? Nope, not even a little bit. Ooh, pizza. Hmm. Her memory pizza is delicious. Molly, be careful what you eat in here. Well, it's not like they're made of her brains or something. I'm not a zombie. <laughs> At least I don't think I am. Mmm. 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 Molly, I, I, I think... I think we're moving into another memory! What, what, where am I? Where did my teacher's memory take me to next? Molly? What? Why am I in a dumpster eating trash? Ew, ew, ew! Ew, gross! Why am I wearing these clothes? Wait a minute. Am I homeless? What? How did this happen? What, what? Why am I on the toilet? <laughs> Weird. Wait a minute. Where, where am I? Hello. I'm here to interview you. What? The FBI? What? Why am I in a prison cell? Hey, let me out of here. You're in a max security prison right now, Molly. 
You have to tell me what happened when you robbed that bank. What? Robbed a bank? But let me out of here! I'm not a criminal! I think we both know that you are. Are you ready for your interrogation? Um, no, not really. Ah, Daisy! Ah! I'm a, I'm a criminal! Wait a minute. I think there's a way to escape. <laughs> All you have to do is go up through this air vent. How do I grow about ten feet so I can get up there? There's no escaping. <laughs> what? Oh, no! I need to get out of my teacher's brain! And fast! No, no, my students can't become criminals. They have to be smart and do their homework. I have to push them hard so, so, that, so that they're successful in life. Wow! Daisy, what happened? Why are you dressed like a criminal? Why are you dressed like a homeless person? Because in my future, I am. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I know. I think this is why our teacher pushes us so much, Molly. Because she doesn't want us to be, well, homeless or criminals or, or not successful even. Wow, I didn't know she cared about us so much. What are we doing here at the beach? Well, I have a little guess. Oh, your breath smells like a dumpster. Don't ask, Molly, don't ask. It looks like... It looks like maybe she thinks about coming here sometimes. Yeah, when she's not worried about her students. Ah, I need a vacation so bad. I guess I could just take one in my mind every once in a while. I mean, the kids need me. I don't have time for a vacation. But I really could use one so, so badly. Ah, Molly, the shrinking potion is where we go. We better get out of here. You're right, Daisy. Let's go. Whoa. quite the show mm. and this popcorn is delicious whoa I can't believe it Mrs. Smith is just being nice because she wants us to be successful Marty why isn't your shrinky potion wailing off it will eventually I'm sure well I hope you're not stuck like that forever <sighs> must make my students successful must make them Molly get off the teacher's desk she might wake up any minute why am I still small uh-oh. I think this is going to end really badly. Well, Molly, I guess you're going to be a little tiny, tiny little cute person forever. Ugh! Daisy, you better fix this! You better fix it! Dear Luke, will you be my valentine? No, that's too, that's too, like, I don't know, boring. Um, you're cute. Let's be Valentines. No, that's too direct. How am I going to write the perfect Valentine to Luke? Molly, what are you doing right now? I'm writing a special Valentine to Luke. I'm even decorating the envelope. Molly, you have to make Valentines for the whole class, not just Luke. I know, I already did all the other Valentines. But this one to Luke is special. Oh boy, you have such a crush on him. Do you think he'd like it? If I put this donut inside the envelope, hmm, I love donuts. Not if you're taking a bite out of it, Molly. Well, I thought we could share. Molly, it's rude to give somebody a half-eaten donut. <laughs> That's not saying be my valentine. Do you think I could put a slice of pizza in there? No, if you put a slice of pizza in an envelope, Molly, it's going to get all squished and gross, and the envelope's going to get greasy. Maybe stick with some candy and um, a valentine and a stuffed animal. Oh, you're a genius, Daisy! I know, I know. I've been told that a million times before. So, um, do you have a crush on anybody? No, but if I did, I wouldn't be telling you. Okay, well, I guess tomorrow I'll see if she gives a special valentine to anybody. <laughs> Gee, it's Valentine's Day! This is so exciting. I can't wait to give my presents to Luke. Oh, Molly, you look adorable. I just wore the same old, same old. Oh, M G. Today's such an important day because I'm going to ask Luke to be my Valentine. While you're giving him adorable gifts, he should say yes. Come on, let's go into the classroom and give everybody their cards. Sounds like a great idea.
Luke, Luke. So anyway, I was wondering, do you want to be my Valentine? Here's WrestleMania tickets. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, sure. What? But, 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 Luke was supposed to be my Valentine. I can't believe this. I, I spent all that time making a special card and, and getting him presents. Great. I'm so glad because you're like the best athlete in the entire school and I'm a cheerleader. So it's like we were meant to be Valentines. Um, yeah, you're probably right, Sarah. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Molly? Molly, where are you going? Molly? <laughs> I guess you're my only little friend now, monkey. You can be my Valentine, right? <laughs> I can't believe I dressed up for, for Valentine's Day. It was all for nothing. Molly. Oh my gosh, don't cry. It's okay. Nothing's okay. Luke was supposed to be my Valentine. Molly, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sometimes we like somebody and they don't like us back. I thought he liked me too and wanted to be my Valentine. We've been friends for a long time. Oh, I'm sorry, Molly. I'm I'm really sorry. Um, you could have the Valentine for me if you want. Hint, hint. It has a donut inside. I don't even want a donut. What? You don't want a donut? Oh, you really are depressed. <laughs> I was gonna give him this adorable monkey. I mean, it. <laughs> That's it. Hug the adorable monkey. It'll make you feel better, Molly. It'll make you feel better. Come on, Molly. They're having pizza for lunch today. One of your favorites. I don't want pizza. I don't want anything. Oh, come on, Molly. I know you better than that. I know you want pizza. Okay. Well, maybe I want pizza. But I'm still really sad about Luke not being my valentine. Dry your tears, Molly. And let's go have pizza. Well, I guess Luke isn't my valentine this year. But I still have pizza. So, yeah, he's going to be my valentine. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, because I got him WrestleMania tickets. That was an amazing present, right? Oh, my gosh. They're sitting next to each other at lunch. Molly, over here. I got you a slice of pizza. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I can't even be seen right now. I, I'll cry. I'll cry. I'll just sit here in study hall and, 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 and eat a snack by myself. Molly! Molly, I'm over here! Here, Molly, here's your pizza. Thanks, Daisy. You know, you're not such a bad sister after all. Thanks, Molly, you're not such a bad sister either. Sorry today didn't go like you wanted it to. Me too. Me too. Ugh, goodbye to the worst day of my life. Hey, Molly, can I sit by you? Oh, ugh, I guess. She's mad at you, Luke! Wait, what? Molly, why? We're like BFFs. No, not anymore, Luke. Not anymore! She doesn't want to sit by you on the school bus, Luke. Molly, what did I do? Please, tell me. Daisy, don't you dare say anything! Oh, no, no, I'll stay out of this one. This is drama, though. Um, okay, um, well, you basically ruined my Valentine's Day. What? Why? Well, because I was going to give you this... And this? A donut? And also a, a stuffed monkey? Wow, that's really great. Oh, yeah. This is internet gold. Daisy, turn that off! Sorry, I'm just saying. So, wait. You were going to give me those things for Valentine's Day? Of course I was. That was when I was going to ask if you wanted to be my Valentine, but obviously you don't. Daisy, turn that off! Molly, I'm sorry, but the YouTube fans get to know. Ugh, my entire life is on YouTube. And then I saw, anyway, and it, I saw you saying to Sarah that you'd be her Valentine. And of course, you don't want to be mine because you wouldn't have said you'd be yes, you'd be her Valentine. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. I didn't know that anyone else would ask me. And well, she did get me WrestleMania tickets. Whatever. You, you picked her because you got your WrestleMania tickets. No, it's just she was the one that asked, and I didn't think anyone else would ask me, so I didn't think it was a big deal. It's a big deal, especially to girls. It's a big deal! Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, Molly, but um, the day's not over yet. Do you want to go to WrestleMania with me? You could be my Valentine for the rest of the day. Seriously? Are you serious? Yeah, but I still want that stuffed monkey. 
He's adorable. Oh, well, here you go. Oh, cute little monkey. Excuse me, did I just hear you say you're going to take Molly to the WrestleMania thing? We're supposed to go together to that because, like, we're Valentines. You don't even like wrestling. You don't either. I could learn to like it. <laughs> of course I'll go with you, Luke. Sorry, you didn't specify I was supposed to take you, Sarah. Oh my gosh, the drama thickens. Daisy! Sorry! YouTube fans want to see it all, Molly. Good, bad, and evil. Okay, YouTube subscribers, what do you think's gonna happen next? Tell us in the comment section below. Daisy! Sorry, Molly. I'm not turning it off. Whatever. I didn't want to be your Valentine's anyway, so give me back the tickets. Really? You're taking the tickets back? Yeah, give them to me. Um, I'm really sorry, Molly, but I can't take you to WrestleMania. That's okay. We could always get off the bus and go get an ice cream. Sounds great. Let's go. Come on, Luke. We can walk there. Wait, you guys aren't taking the bus home? What are you talking about? No, we're not. We don't want to be anywhere near you. Come on, Valentine. Let's go. Yes! Well, the worst Valentine's Day actually turned out to be the best one. I couldn't agree more, Molly. <laughs> I'm glad you're my Valentine. Thanks for the awesome presents. Um, well, thanks for asking me to WrestleMania, even though you couldn't take me. Ice cream's better anyway. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day! Woohoo! 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 It's summer break! It's summer break! No more school! It's summer break! Summer break makes me so happy because obviously there's no school. Mmm, what should I pack to go to the park today? Ooh, the ice cream looks good. Molly, you can't take ice cream to the park. It will melt. Well, I think we should try. Mmm. It's really good. You can't take ice cream to the park. Besides, even if it didn't melt, you're eating it all before we even get there. Yeah, good point. Mm. I just can't help myself. It's so delicious. What should we pack? How about we just get Bogo Bond? Daisy, you're speaking my language. Sounds delicious. Uh, but Daisy, you can't go in pants and a long shirt. You will literally feel like you're sitting on the surface of the sun. It's gonna be really hot today. Don't you want to wear shorts and stuff? I'm working on it, Molly. I still have to change and whatever. Well, hurry up. I really want to get going. Ah, oh, my sister takes forever speak for yourself molly you're the one that takes forever when it's time to go to school well yeah obviously who wants to go there daisy seriously come on now molly my pigtails have to be perfect daisy you're gonna get in the pool your pigtails are gonna look terrible after that anyway no they won't they look perfect molly holy guacamole what's in that huge bag what are you gonna stay there for the rest of your life <laughs> no i have sunscreen i have snacks i have an extra pair of sunglasses an umbrella a beach towel holy quackamole molly you are moving in down there come on let's get going okay i'm trying to move but this bag is really heavy uh, uh, uh. daisy could you carry it absolutely not molly you packed all of it you carry it daisy come on we'll take the car instead of walking that way you don't have to carry that whole thing all the way across town good idea daisy daisy it won't fit in your trunk. It's it's too big. Molly, you're gonna have to leave the bag here. No way, I need this stuff. There, okay, I crammed it in there. Molly, I don't even know if the car's gonna go now. You've got so much weight in that bag. <laughs> Whatever, Daisy. You'll be thankful when you need a snack. Daisy, stay on the road. I can't, Molly, that bag is so heavy it's making me still funny whatever daisy you're being so dramatic right now yes we're finally here molly don't you need your bag nah i don't really need all that stuff molly <laughs> well i don't i changed my mind oh my gosh i can't believe i got stuck with her as a sister oh i'm gonna ride on the swings molly don't look now but sarah's here whoa i can't look i'm getting too dizzy whoa, 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 whoa. okay i'm getting off the swing hey sarah how's your summer going why are you talking to me, loser? Uh, actually, my name's not Loser. My mom and dad named me Molly. Isn't that funny? This whole time you thought my name was Loser, but it's really Molly. I know what your name is, Loser. Okay, you can't rename me. My name is Molly. Uh, yeah, she's still talking to me. It's super annoying. Yeah, I have to call you back. Goodbye. Okay, Loser, you're interrupting my phone call. What do you want? Um, like I said already, my name isn't Loser. <sighs> Seriously, do you understand what I am saying? My name is Molly. Oh, whatever. This is getting so ridiculous. Whoa, looks like we're gonna have a giant storm. Good thing I brought that umbrella. Molly, go get the bag. We need the umbrella. Told you that would come in handy. Ha, huh, the 
This rain is crazy. This is not exactly how I thought our park day would go. It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's like raining so hard. Let me under there too. You losers need to move over. She already told you our name isn't loser. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh man, this totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were losers. You want to hang out with us now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on. Let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days, and then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I dare you, Molly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa, this is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. No, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Molly? M Molly? Oh my God, she's under the water, Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly, Molly, Molly! Oh my God, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick up my sister, she's obviously hurt. Molly, see something, anything! Look at her leg, it looks broken. I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of... Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog daring her. Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... <sighs> Sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Bye. Sarah? Oh, I just figured she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to double dog. I mean, triple dog doing my sister. Oh, my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. As soon as you get to the hospital, they'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog deal. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I could still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop at 
the drive through Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. I'm literally going to give this ambulance driver a one-star review. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh, I hope a doctor comes in soon. Oh, I feel like I'm dying. Oh, uh, good morning. Uh, what seems to be the problem here? My sister, she got really hurt, doctor. What's your name? My name's Dr. Taffy. Dr. Taffy? Seriously, like the candy? Yes, but unfortunately, doctors aren't as nice as Taffy because we have to give you shots a lot of times. What? I don't want a shot! Molly, just chill out. Oh my gosh, this is the worst day ever. Dr. Taffy, I'd like some ice cream and some candy and no shots, please. Sorry, I can't promise anything. Now, what seems to be... Uh, I mean, what happened is what I meant to say. Are you feeling okay, Dr. Taffy? I'm feeling fine. Quit asking so many questions. Just answer the ones I've got. Oh, grumpy, grumpy. Okay, um, uh, what happened was I took a triple dog dare and jumped off the swing at the park and... Well, I broke my leg. Okay, well, by the looks of you, we need to get an x-ray. Is that gonna hurt? No, Molly, x-rays don't hurt. Whoa, this machine is crazy. Yes, it's a very special x-ray machine. It will tell me where the breaks are in your leg and if you need surgery. Surgery? No, I don't, I don't want surgery, no! Okay, it looks like, hmm, your brain looks very giant and kind of delicious. What? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you don't uh, have more than one break. You only have just the one. Dr. Taffy, you're kind of talking kind of weird. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just hungry for brains. Brains? <laughs> you mean you're hungry for a Reese cup, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> totally. Just a Reese cup. Yeah. Um. Okay. Can I go back to my room now? Yes. You don't need surgery, but you're going to have to wear a cast on it. And also, I'm going to have to give you a shot. What? No! Not a shot! Sorry. Have to. What? No! 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 I tried to call my mom on the phone, but she wasn't answering. I'm gonna have to send her an instant message. Okay, let me just log in here. What? What's this? The doctor's notes? Um, okay, well, I guess I can see what the doctor's notes are, because it does have to do with my sister. What? He's giving everybody shots to turn them into zombies? Oh my god, I have to get to my sister! Molly, I'm coming! See, I told you that shot wouldn't hurt that bad. What? You already gave her the shot? No! Molly! What? What's so bad? I already got the shot. It's over. and done. Thank goodness. Because Molly, the, 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 that shot is... It's... It's Sombrex! What? Sombrex? What are you talking about? <laughs> Whoa! My leg is starting to feel a lot better. And I'm craving brains. Weird. That shot worked really quickly. Molly, no! This can't be happening! What are you talking about, DZ? I, I, I don't want to tell you this, Molly, but that shot's gonna turn you into a zombie! What? No, it's not. Don't be ridiculous. What's that smell? It smells delicious. What, Molly? I don't smell anything. Smells like brains. Molly! No! How could this be? My only sister! Come here, Daisy. I want to eat your brains. Ah! Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Molly, I thought your leg was broken. No, it's fine now. <laughs> Caught you. Molly, don't bite me. Seriously, I don't want to be a zombie. Sorry. But your brains smell delicious. I'll give you a choice, though. You could be a zombie like me, or I could eat your brains. I don't like either one of those options, Molly. Too bad. <coughs> Molly, you bit me! Molly! <laughs> now you're gonna be a zombie just like me. Oh, I don't feel so good. Don't worry, you're gonna be feeling fine in no time. You're gonna be just like me. A zombie! <laughs> I can't believe you turned me into a zombie, Molly. Well, I think it's wonderful because we're going to live forever. Yeah, but now I'm hungry. So hungry for brains. Brains. No problem. I'm sure we can find some somewhere around here. Look, the club just opened, which means there's going to be lots of people going there to party and no one will suspect two zombies. Molly, we're green. How are we not going to be suspected? Hey, look at that. Someone's over there in front of the mall. Ooh, I think it's Sarah. Let's go eat her brains. Let's go eat her brains. Okay, Molly, you're being a little crazy right now. Well, we are zombies. It's what we do. Oh, look who it is. I guess you didn't break your leg, huh? Whoa, you look really sick. Are you doing okay? What? 
What's wrong with you guys? Huh? You decided to come to the club tonight, huh? Well, I was gonna go to the mall, but I decided to come to the club instead. What does your face look like that before? I mean, you were ugly to start with. What? I wasn't ugly, and now I'm beautiful because I'm a zombie. What? A zombie? Oh! Everybody run! No one's even here yet, Sarah. It's just you and me. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Time to eat your brains! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to call you a loser. Okay, yes, I did, but still, please don't eat my brains. It's happening, Sarah. It's happening! <laughs> Molly, say something, anything, Molly! Oh my gosh, I can't believe Molly fell off the swing and hit her head. Molly, Molly! Huh? What? What? What happened? Oh, my head hurts. My leg hurts. Molly, you hit you hit your head when you jumped off the swing. What? No, I, I, I was just a zombie. What? No, you weren't. Okay, let's get her on the stretcher already. Ugh, I want to go on my break. I'm starving. Okay, Miss Grumpy. My sister got a concussion. No, there was zombies at the hospital. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Molly, you have to get on the stretcher. You got a concussion from hitting your head on this concrete over here. And your leg is broken, I think. But the zombies! Molly, that was just a bad nightmare. Come on, get on the stretcher. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, but I'm telling you, Daisy, we have to watch out for the zombies. The doctor's infecting everyone. Molly, everything's gonna be okay. Well, ride with me, okay, Daisy, because I'm afraid. And I don't want the zombies to get me. Molly, for the last time, there's no zombies at the hospital. It was just a nightmare. You've got a concussion. Okay. I, 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 I guess I believe you, Daisy. Everybody hold on, okay? It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Oh, I'm starving. I wonder if the drive through will have anything that I like. Ugh, this job is so annoying. All I want to do is eat brains. Brains. Ah, do you hear that, DC? Hear what, Molly? I didn't hear anything. Ah! Psst, Brookie. Brookie. Molly, shh. We're going to get detention if you keep talking to me. Would you two be quiet? I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Daisy, shh. Jeepers, you're bringing too much attention to us. Brookie, I have to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? But seriously, don't get us in trouble. I don't want detention. Brookie, do you want to come over for a sleepover tonight? Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. What are we going to do? We'll play some games. We'll maybe swim in my pool. Um, We'll eat popcorn and watch movies. Oh, M. G. That sounds like so much fun. Can we watch Halloween movies since it's getting so close to Halloween? Yeah, of course. We can watch Hocus Pocus, my favorite. What? Are they seriously planning a sleepover? Ugh, I never get invited to a sleepover, and I love Hocus Pocus. Did you just hear Sarah talking? Not really. She's over there in the other part of the room. She kind of talks to herself sometimes. Yeah, none of her friends are in this class, so... Excuse me, Molly, would you like to share what you have uh, to say with Brookie, with the whole class? Yeah, Molly. Oh, Daisy, you're such a teacher's pet. No, thank you, Mr. Smith. And Brookie, I'll see you uh, like an hour after school. Sounds good, Molly. It's Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Do -do -do Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh, yeah, cue some dance music here. Cue some dance music! <laughs> Molly, you look ridiculous! What have you gone crazy? Crazy for Friday night! Having a sleepover! Having a sleepover! Wait, what? A sleepover? Really? Yep, and Brookie's here right about now. Brookie, I'm coming! I'm gonna dance my way to the door. Brookie, what are you doing? Oh, I was just seeing if you had a doorbell. I couldn't remember. <laughs> you just can knock. Come on in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My sister's dancing so bad. Hey, Daisy, are you going to be here for the sleepover too? No, no, she's not. Yes, I am, Molly, and stop dancing and singing. You wonder why you're not invited to the sleepover. It's because you take the joy out of things, Daisy. You suck the life out of them. Molly, that's not very nice. Daisy's my friend, too. Of course I want her to be at the sleepover. Oh, fine. See, Molly, everyone loves me. You should, too. 
Okay, well, um, the first thing we could do is, like, turn on the movie that we want to watch. Hocus Pocus! Yeah, that's not on for another, like, 30 minutes, though. Till then, we can watch this dog smiling. <laughs> um, well, I just put my bag upstairs, so, um, we can totally chill out. Yeah, let's chill out. We could veg out. I heard my mom say that the other day. She's so 90s. Where's a sleepover? Oh, here it is. Who's in my house? Ah! Sarah, what, what are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover, duh. Um, uh. Molly, you invited the bully to a sleepover? What were you thinking? I didn't invite her. Oh, that's kind of rude. Yeah, totally. You're talking about it in my class. Actually, it wasn't just your class. We were all there. And I didn't think you wanted to be our friend since you call us losers and bully us all the time. Well, I want to be at the sleepover, so I'm going to stay. Uh, uh. Brookie, should we let Sarah stay? Well, I'm not sure we really have a choice. I mean, here she is, and it's getting late, and, well, she packed a bag and everything. Uh, okay. Sarah, but no calling us a loser and no bullying us. Okay, but I can still boss you around, right? Uh, no. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear you say yes. Well, I want to play Truth or Dare. What? Truth or Dare? Um, I think that might be a bad idea. I've heard things go very wrong with that game. Yeah, like you tell somebody a truth you didn't want them to know. Or you break a leg doing one of the deals. Yeah, we're not playing Truth or Dare. Yes, we are. I'm the oldest here, and I make the rules because of it. Um, uh, well, she has a point. She is the oldest, Molly. What do we do to play this game, Sarah? Is it like Jumanji? Are we all going to get sucked into this other world, and then, 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 then there's going to be elephants, and oh, my God. Uh, no, Brookie. Truth or dare is nothing like Jumanji. Oh, okay, good. But it can be dangerous. Everyone sit in a circle and be quiet. Okay, fine, bossy. And hello, who's going to valet this bag of mine? What? Take care of your own bag, Sarah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thanks, Daisy. Ay, ay, ay. How do I get roped into this stuff? Okay, we're all in a circle. Now what? Now someone says truth or dare. Shh! I'm in charge here because I'm the oldest and I've played truth or dare before. Wow, I bet she's played spin the bottle too. Whatever. Anyway... I'm going to ask whoever I want, truth or dare. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I have some questions, though. What do we say? Duh, you say either you want a truth or a dare. Ugh, just pay attention. Okay, whatever. Don't be so grumpy at my sleepover. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Um, uh, uh, truth. Perfect. Is it true? That you wrote a note once to Daisy saying how mad you were at Molly? Uh, um, well, that was like two years ago, and 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 and, 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 and it was just a big misunderstanding, and 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 and, and. what? But you're my best friend. How could you say that? <laughs> this game's gonna be really fun. Sit down, Brookie. It's your turn. Molly, I didn't mean it. I I I, I take every word back. You feel like a traitor to me. I'm, I, I'm sorry, Molly, please. Okay, fine, I guess I'll let that go. Um, Daisy, truth or dare? Um, I choose truth. Okay, um, do you like mint ice cream better or chocolate? What? That's such a lame question. Hey, it's her turn. She can ask whatever she wants. Um, actually, I would like chocolate better. Okay, fine, whatever. It's your turn, Daisy. Sarah. Truth or dare? Um, truth. Okay, um, why did you come to this sleepover? What? You can't ask me that. Actually, yes, she can. Because <laughs> you picked truth. And you have to tell the truth. It's part of the rules. Whatever. Okay, but this doesn't leave this room. Of course not, Sarah. We would never dream of that. I, I came to this sleepover because I was lonely. And I... Wanted to have some friends. Oh, that's sad. If you'd be nicer to us, we'd be a friend all the time. I don't want to friend you all the time. Just when my friends are out of town. Because they went to Disney without me. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe you should stop bullying them too. Anyway, 
truth or dare, Molly? Um, dare. <laughs> I dare you to jump off the balcony into the hot tub. What? That's against my parents' rules. She could get really hurt doing that. I don't care. It's a dare and you have to do it. It's okay, Daisy. I'll be fine. Molly, I think this is a bad idea. She could go home. What? No, I'm not. I want to be here. Okay, I'm going to do it. Molly, please don't. You don't have to take the dare. Actually, yes, she does. Or she loses the game. Okay, here I go. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Whoa! Molly? Oh my gosh, Molly got hurt and her head's under the water. I have to get her out. Molly! Molly! Oh my god, she's drowning! Help! I got her. I got her. Oh my gosh. Someone call 911. Truth or dare gone wrong. Oh my god, I'm sure she'll be fine. Where's my cell phone? I've got to call 911. Oh my god, Molly, hold on. Hold on. She's fading. I think she's turning into a ghost. Molly? Molly! 911, what's your emergency? My sister took a dare and threw the dare and she fell in the hot tub and she turned into a ghost and she's dead! Oh, well, um, then we really can't help you if she's already dead. What? You have to bring her back to life! I can't do that. Um, she's already dead. Sorry. What? They just hung up on me? Holy guacamole. Brookhaven 911 stinks. One star! Well, <laughs> this has been fun, but um, I think I should probably go now. When do you get back here? Sarah! Oh my gosh. Molly's a ghost. <sighs> what, 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 what happened? Molly, can you hear us? Yeah, can can you hear me? I can't see her anymore, Daisy. She's really gone to the other side. You can't, Bookie? Wait a minute. I can't see you either. Molly! Molly! What? What happened to me? How come I can walk right through Daisy? Oh my god! Did I die when I did that dare? I can walk through Brookie too! Oh my god! My sister died playing to the tail! <laughs> what? I died playing truth or dare? O-M-G! She is for ghosts, by the way. Uh, I totally want to have superpowers. And since I found this awesome recipe for a potion, today is my lucky day. I don't want to drink it, though, because it smells awful. So I'm going to put it on top of this school lunch pizza and make it taste a little bit better. All right, just put a little bit on top of the pizza. Now I need to go get a Coca-Cola because if this tastes gross, I definitely don't want to, like, have to taste it too much. <laughs> I'm starving. <gasps> they already put school lunch out. Yes! And I got here before everybody else. You know what that means. I get to eat lots of pizza. Ooh, this looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. Well, uh, actually tastes a little weird oh what what did they put in this pizza eh who cares well i better get back to class before i'm late oh i feel kind of weird whoa what was in that pizza must be some sort of weird cheese they put in come on daisy you know this one you've been doing your homework right yeah just my brain doesn't seem to want to work today oh is this the right answer no, Daisy, I'm sorry. Why don't you try again? What? Daisy doesn't know the answer to this problem? I do. I'll solve it. Whoa, Molly, how did you run so fast? Um, I didn't think I ran that fast. Yes, you did, Molly. That was crazy. Okay, uh, let's see. Two plus two. No, Daisy, it's four. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Since when can you solve the problem and I can't? Since, uh, right now, today, in math class. Okay, everybody, time to go to lunch. OMG, there was an entire thing of pizza here just a minute ago. And it had my special superhuman potion in it. Where did it go? Oh, I think someone must have ate it. That's so rude. Molly, look, it's pizza day. I know, I know, I know. How do you know, Molly? We just got here. Because when I went to ba the bathroom earlier, I came up here and I saw that it was pizza day. And, uh, 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 
Did you eat a bunch of the pizza? Um, well, uh, Molly? OMG! The lunch lady just put out more pizza, but this is not the pizza that I need! Molly, are you seriously gonna go eat more pizza? Absolutely! Hey, Sarah, what's up? Get away from me, loser. I'm having a terrible day. Mmm, this pizza tastes a lot better. <laughs> a lot better than what? Um, nothing! Man, the pizza earlier tasted kind of weird. It did, Molly? Maybe they used bad cheese. This pizza is delicious. I couldn't agree more. Mm, so good. One, two, three, four. I've got to get in way better shape if I'm going to try out for the track team. Hi, Fluky. Ooh, you're already working out, I see. Come on, DC. We have to do some, um, some jumping jacks and stuff so that we can get warmed up before we do our running. I can't believe we're both trying out for the track team. I think we're both going to make it. I hope so. <sighs> I'm a little out of shape. You can do this, Pookie. You're the most athletic person that I know. Okay, Daisy, let's time each other and see who can be the fastest. Good idea. I'm sure they'll time us at the track tryouts. Okay, you go first, Pookie, and go. Okay, I'm running as fast as I can. You got this, Bookie. OMG. I'm trying to run even faster, but I don't think I can run any faster than this. How did I do, Daisy? You did pretty good, Bookie, but now it's my turn. Um, And let's see if I can beat you. Okay, go. Go, Daisy. You got this. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, my gosh. This is a huge track. I can't believe it. Oof, I'm getting so tired. Wow. Daisy's running kind of slow. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence, Molly. <sighs> Dying now. Dying. Well, you need to get in way better shape if you're going to make it on the track team. Molly, try to be encouraging to your sister, okay? She's trying out something very new to her. Yeah, Molly. Uh, I definitely need a cupcake right now. <laughs> you sound like me. That's definitely something I would say. Okay, well, guys, time me now and see how long I take. You're not even going to try out for the track team, are you? I don't know. I may if I'm fast enough. Okay, well, let's see what you got, Molly. Okay, go! <laughs> oh, my gosh, Molly, how did you run so fast? You're, 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 you're like, I don't know, superhuman or something. Yeah, she ran really quick up to the board earlier, too. And she solved a math problem. Something's going on with you, Molly. Something crazy. Um, I, I, I don't know what it could be, but, uh, I, I, I am feeling a little bit strange. Strange, yeah. Like not yourself, huh? Yeah, why? What do you think it is, Daisy? I think maybe you're not really Molly. And you're an alien instead. <laughs> really? No, I'm Molly. I'm still craving cupcakes, and I don't want to do any homework. Yeah, she has a point, Daisy. That does sound a lot like Molly. Help! What was that? I, I hear something. What? I, I don't hear anything. Yeah, it, it sounds like someone needs my help. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Help! There's a little kid. They're drowning in the pool. I'll be right back. Okay, here, I'm just gonna pick you up. You you can you can get on my shoulders, okay? Here you go. Oh my god, you can't swim at me! Got you! It's gonna be okay. Come on, I'm gonna take you to the edge of the pool. How'd you get in the pool in the first place? I accidentally was running and not paying attention and and and, and, and I was doing this and then I fell in the pool. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah, you saved me. That was that was so brave. You're like a superhero. Oh, I don't know about that. I do, Molly. Holy guacamole, you are a superhero. What? No, I'm not. You can run super fast. You can heal people in trouble from miles away. You actually can save them, and you can do math now. What's come over you, Molly? You're a superhero. Hold on, I can't talk to you right now. I've got to take care of this little girl. See what I mean? You're being a superhero right now. Are you still feeling okay? Should I get an ambulance? I'm fine. I just want to go home. Okay, well, next time, be careful around the pool, okay? Okay, thanks for helping. No problem. 
<sighs> Sorry, I was a little tired, so I ran slow from, you know, running so many um, miles around the track. Besides, how would I ever keep up with you, Molly? That's my thought exactly. She's a superhero! How did this happen? Guys, I don't think I'm actually a superhero. Um, Molly, I think you might be. You run super fast, you save drowning kids. How did this happen? Yeah, Molly, let's recount your steps from the day. Something must have happened. Um, I got up, I brushed my teeth. That's it! Something must have been in your toothpaste! Uh, I doubt that very much. I used the same toothpaste this morning and I don't feel superhuman. Well, maybe you're just not special. <laughs> Mommy, I am special in my own naughty way, just because I'm not a superhero. Anyway, guys, what else did Molly do today? Um, I got my backpack, I came to school, I sat in math class, which was boring, so I went to the bathroom, and, um, wait a minute, Molly, what'd you do next? I came out of the bathroom, and I noticed there was pizza in the cafeteria, so I went and I ate the entire thing. Whoa, Molly, you're a pig. <laughs> Ah, pizza, how I love thee. Let me count the ways. Focus, Molly. Wait a minute. Didn't you say that pizza tasted kind of weird? Yeah, it, it did taste weird. Oh, my gosh. The pizza had magic superhero potion in it. Oh, my goodness, Molly. Where did that pizza come from? I don't know, the lunch lady or something? I don't know, Molly. Something seems very strange about this. Ha 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 ha! Look out, losers! Ha <laughs> I'm superhuman! Blah! Sarah, your, your, your face is. Oh my! It is creepy! Yeah, I'm um, Sarah, no offense or anything, but the whole super villain thing you got going on, you look a little ugly. No, no offense or anything. What? I don't care what you losers think. I've got superpowers! <laughs> Wait a minute, what? How can you have superpowers? I ate the entire pizza. Wait, you ate my magic superhuman potion in the pizza? Oh, I should have known. You're such a pig. So, I like eating pizza. And cupcakes too, you know. I had to eat the crumbs on the plate of that pizza. And it was just enough to give me superpowers. I've decided to use my superpowers for evil. <laughs> well then, this calls for... Superhero Molly! Uh, Molly, you might want to hurry up. She's robbing the bank. All right, I'm trying. I've got... Okay, let's... What do I, what do I got in here that I could be a uh, super, superhero with? No, no. Oh, what about this? No, that's a lifeguard. What about this? No, that's a dancer. Uh, what about this? No, that's a chef. Uh, Molly, she's robbing the bank. Hurry up. Okay, I'm trying. A uh, cowboy? Oh, no, that, that won't work. Molly, now you look like the villain. Oh, my gosh. You're totally going to lose. Oh. What's this one? A police officer? Okay, yeah. They're pretty... Oh, FBI. Oh, this works perfect. All right, let me see. What do I have for, like, hats and stuff? Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't know what I could wear. How about this? Molly, seriously? You're the worst superhero ever. How about this one? Oh, brother Molly. It doesn't really matter. She's Look, she's getting away with the money. Okay, I have to have the perfect hat. Oh, whoa, that's creepy. No way. Uh, Molly, there she goes with all the money. Okay, uh, I'm almost done. Money, just pick something. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking. What you got at is fine. I feel like a ridiculous superhero. Um, yeah, you look pretty ridiculous. But who cares what you look like? You can worry about your costume later. Get after that villain. Ha, ha, ha. Now that I have all the money, I can take awesome vacations. Uh, this week I'll be in Brookhaven, but next week it's definitely Hawaii. <laughs> there, super evil, super villain Sarah. Stay right there. I don't plan on going anywhere. I'm on vacation, duh. Okay, well, sue yourself, but you're going to be under arrest. What? You can't arrest me. You're not a cop. Correction. I'm FBI. I'm even more powerful than the cops. I'm I'm a superhero FBI agent. Now hold still while I cuff you. Not a chance. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to cuff you and you're going to have to deal with it. What? No, I'm not going to jail. This is so unfair. <laughs> I wanted all the power, but no. 
yeah, well, I got the majority of the power, and you just got the crumbs. Whoops, I didn't mean to sit down. <laughs> Being lazy on the job. <laughs> All right, off to jail you go. Right in jail where you belong, villain. Oh, you need to let me out of here, you loser. Who's the loser now, villain? I'm a superhero, and I work for the FBI, and I have an adorable cat hat. <laughs> I think I'm winning. I'm winning! Well, I don't, I don't know what to say. I have nothing to say, but, but I'm going to get out of here. You just wait. Sure you will, supervillain. Sure you will. Bye! Job well done. <laughs> Little does she know, I still have some of the potion left. Oh, oh it tastes terrible. This is why I tried putting it on the pizza. Oh, uh, oh, I think toilet water would taste better. Yep, it definitely would. Gotta go wash it down with some toilet water. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, I feel super strange. Must be that potion's working. <laughs> I'll take over all of Brookhaven. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Daisy, I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Me either, Molly! This is going to be the best day of summer vacation devil because we're at Disneyland! Woohoo! This is amazing! Alright, Daisy, let's go get some tickets. Hello, welcome to Disneyland! Hi, um, uh, let me see, uh, uh, kid ticket, please? I need a kid ticket for me, too! Okay, that will be. Um, $10 for you, and, uh, $10 for you. Uh, here you go. Here you go, nice mister. Thank you very much, and have a great time today. Thank you. Come on, Daisy, let's go. Whoa, I can see the castle from here. And Pirates of the Caribbean. That's, like, the first one I want to go on. Oh, this is amazing, Molly. Okay, go through here, Daisy. This is to count how many visitors they've had. Whoa, Molly, a, a Disney gift shop. Yeah, Daisy, we can go there later. First, we have to ride all the rides in the whole world. <gasps> Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm going on this one first. Wait for me, Molly. Well, hurry up, Daisy Jeepers. <laughs> it's Jack Sparrow. Hi, Jack. He's a pirate. Another Jack Sparrow. Do, 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 ba, 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 do. I fell down! How did this happen? Oh no, I'm in the water. Nobody start the boat yet. Don't start the boat. There's a hole in your boat. Jeepers, creepers. Okay, I had to try harder this time not to, to fall. Molly, hold me. The, the ride is about to start. Sorry, I fell. I mean, puts a hole in the middle of the boat. That was kind of silly. Okay, I'm ready. Daisy? I'm right here, Molly! Whoa! You can see almost all of Walt Disney World up here. I know, Molly. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, Daisy. We're starting to go faster. Oh! Uh-oh. I don't feel so good. Molly, do not do it. Do not, Molly. <laughs> no, I'm okay, Daisy. I'm okay. Oh, I think so. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Oh, we're going super fast! Daisy! Molly, you're fine. Stop yelling. That's what you do on rides, Daisy. You yell. Whoa! Whoa! Molly! <laughs> Whoa! This is so much fun! Whoa! We went upside down! Holy moly! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh this is making my stomach hurt! Oh my gosh! I shouldn't have eaten that bagel. Uh, is this ride over yet? This is one crazy pirate ship if it turns upside down and it doesn't sink. Molly, it's slowing down now. Oh, oh thank goodness. That was kind of scary. Molly, I thought it was super fun. Yeah, it was okay. Molly, were you afraid? Okay, maybe yeah, a little bit. I'm not going to even deny it. I gotta get out of here. Molly, you fell in the water again. Yeah, I know. I wanted to get out of here so bad. Look, Buzz Lightyear. That looks fun. 
You might need to go with that one next. Oh, look. Somebody else is waiting in line. Sorry, we paid for the fast pass. We get to go first. Okay, how do I get in here? Follow me, Molly. What are you doing? I don't know. It's just confusing. Daisy? Daisy, where did you go? I don't understand how to get in this game. And Daisy, like, totally... Unequip current item to start button on right now open. I'm so I'm so confused. How do I get into this game? Ah! Ah! <laughs> I fell out! Molly, you crazy! Well you disappeared, Daisy. I didn't know how to Okay, I'm in! I'm in, people! And there's a picnic table on my head. Um, I'm not so sure about this. Why is there a picnic table on my head? Does anybody know? Anybody? Oh man, I think I might be in trouble. Who's gonna start this? Who's gonna start this ride? Ah, I fell out! Molly, this ride is broken. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, there's a first aid. I might need that after falling out of the sky. Oh, I wanna go to the castle next. Let's go to the castle. Molly, I don't think we could ever see all of the things in one day. Yeah, I know. We might have to come back tomorrow. Disney Skyway. Entrance. Okay. Gas Castle Hotel now open. <gasps> I want to stay here. Whoa! I know, Daisy. This is amazing. Holy moly. I definitely want to stay here. That's it. I'm booking a room tonight at the... Palace in Disneyland. It's amazing. Yeah, Molly, I want to stay here too. It looks so amazing. Yeah, no kidding. And we can't see all of the park in one day anyways. But we can book it later. Let's go back out and, and see what else we can see. Okay, Molly, let's do it. Wah! <laughs> I don't think that was the right way to go. <gasps> Is that a water ride? Oh, yeah, I'm all about this. I am all about this. It's the log flume! Okay, there's the exit. Molly, do you read the Wexins? Yeah, not very much. Enter. Uh, Daisy? Uh, Daisy, I'm riding it without the flume! Ah, Daisy! Molly, are you okay? I'm not really sure yet, Daisy. This is going really fast. Whoa! Wow! I don't know where my log flume is, but I'm riding it without it. That's cool. Wow! <laughs> this is the weirdest Walt Disney World ever. Okay, wee! That was so weird. Daisy? Molly! <laughs> I lost my log flume! It's chasing me! Uh, 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 they need to do some maintenance on the rides. Yeah, I know. That was craziness. Haunted Mansion. Nope, wait, Molly, I'm not doing it. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, come on, Daisy. Don't be a chicken. Okay, Molly, fine. But I really don't want to. I'm afraid. Well, then why are you walking so fast? Why are you walking so slow? Are you afraid? Uh, no. I think you are, Molly. No, I'm seriously not. I'm not afraid. Okay, Molly, if you say so. <laughs> wow, this is the longest way to get in ever. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at the pumpkins. Those are so cool. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I think we drop. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Molly, wait for me. I'm afraid. Jump on it, Daisy. Come on. Oh my gosh. There's a goblin over there, like a ghoul or something. Oh, it was kind of like a ghost. Ah! Ah! Something splatted on me. Ah! 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 ah scary. Ah. What is that little little creature coming down from the from the ceiling? So creepy! Ah! 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 Oh my gosh! What? Ah! There's an axe! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Oh, that was so crazy. Is it over yet? No, Molly, I don't think so. I think we're still on it. 
Holy moly, that was crazy. Whoa, whoa. I was getting dizzy. Molly, I'm scared. Don't be scared. There's things that keep popping out at us. It's a graveyard. Oh, this is creepy. Uh, uh, somebody's gonna grab me! Ah! Molly, you're being dramatic. That part wasn't scary. Okay, but this next part is, what's that? A ghoul! Oh, thank goodness, I think it's over. No, Molly, still not over. Just remember, you wanted to go on this ride. Oh, now we're going right into the graveyard! Ah, look at all the ghosts! And graves! And you, the vampire! Oh, this is so scary! It's like so foggy in here. It's so foggy in here. Ah, like tentacles from an octopus. Yuck. An X, Molly, an X! OMG! Oh my gosh, why are we in here with these flames? Daisy, hurry up! Don't get to... Ah, look at that thing! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Whoa, where did I end up? I don't know where I just ended up. Did I just jump back through? There was something really, really scary in there. Ah! Not this again. Getting so dizzy. I have to get out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm, I'm busting out of here. Molly! I need to relax in the pool for a minute. Oh, that was so scary. I don't believe that was. Oh my gosh, look in the window, Daisy. There's like ghosts and stuff. That was the scariest haunted mansion ever. Molly, which ride do you want to do now? Um, I think I want to do... Dun, 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 the Frozen Ride! Ooh, Molly, that sounds amazing. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, Daisy. This is going to be great. Whoa, something broke on the Frozen Ride. Scariness. This way, Daisy, this way. Okay, Molly. Touch for a new cart, okay? Where's my cart? Oh, wait. Did it disappear? There it is. Come on, Daisy. Daisy, you took my spot. Sorry, Molly. You sit in the back. Besides, I love Frozen. Okay, so you think because you're the number one fan, you get to sit in the front? Yeah, pretty much, Molly. Oh, man. Sisters. Oh, there's Kristoff. <laughs> oh, man, I love this so much. It moves really slow, Molly, so you can be immersed. You mean immersed? Yeah, Molly, you could be immersed in the whole frozen scene. Whoa, look! There's Elsa! She's going to make everything frozen soon, Molly, because look at what she's doing. Whoa, where's Anna? Where's Anna? Anna! There's Anna over there! Uh, Molly, did you just see that? Whoa, what is that, Molly? I kind of have no idea. <laughs> Brr, it's kind of cold in this ride. <laughs> that Anna looks like so unhappy. She's like, ugh, I don't want to work here anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a million Olafs in here. Look, that Olaf's head's missing. <laughs> Molly, I love the Olaf room. It's amazing. Yeah, Daisy, it really is. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Look on the left, Daisy. There was an Olaf that looked like a that looked like a unicorn. <laughs> Molly, that's funny. Oh, look, Elsa's sad. But then they give each other a hug and they're fine. Whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh, this ride is so cool. I do, Molly. I mean. You go slow, it's not like a roller coaster or anything, but it's so cool because you feel like you've stepped into the frozen world. And just like that, Daisy, it dumps us out at the end. Molly, I loved that ride, it was amazing. Okay, I need a cotton candy. Junk food. No, they're all out. I don't know, Molly, are they? Yeah, they're all out. Molly, that's terrible news. Yeah, it kind of is. Let's go to the Disney store and see if there's anything cool. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. I ran into that girl, but I didn't mean to. 
How do I get into the Disney store? Disney store, let me in! I must be on the wrong side. Daisy, what are you doing? Molly, I don't... I'm just trying to find a snack. And I'm also going into the gift shop. Oh, here's the gift shop. I was confused. Okay, what do we have? A spilled soda. No thanks. Um... Mickey beans. No, those don't sound like a good idea at all. Frozen cereal! No way, but that's delicious. Donation to the park. Yeah, I would give a donation to the park. Here you go. I'll give you one dollar. <gasps> Look at this. You can be a Disney princess. Holy moly. Molly, you could not be Cinderella. I'm Cinderella. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Elsa then. Yeah! <laughs> we look adorable! I do, Molly, we totally do. Okay, Daisy, let's ride one last ride before we go back to the uh before we go back to the castle hotel. What should it be, Daisy? I don't know, Molly. There's so many to choose from. Yeah, we know Buzz Lightyear is broken. We can't play that. Wreck it, Ralph. Hmm, do we ride that one? I think we should ride Wreck It Ralph. Okay, Molly, let's do it. Huh? Whoa! I'm all blue! Molly, I don't I don't want to do Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, I went over near that arcade and it was like turning me blue. Molly, that's you go to the arcade. Don't go in, Dale. Okay, well, what ride do you want to go on? Oh my gosh, you want to go on uh, Crush's Coaster? Yeah, Molly, let's do it. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. Molly, you love roller coasters. Don't lie. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Dory. Hi, Dory. Okay, where to now? Molly, just follow through the gate, silly. Okay. Daisy, hurry! Molly! Ah, Molly! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, Molly! Whoa! Whoa, we're gonna fly! Molly, are you okay? Yeah, uh, this, this roller coaster is broken. I know, Molly, that was really crazy. Let's try again. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe that, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, Molly, after that ride, I definitely need to go back to the castle and take a nap. Yeah, no kidding. That was crazy, Daisy. Come on, Molly, hurry! Okay, Daisy, let's try this again. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Molly, I think we're gonna make it this time! Yeah, uh, I'm not sure, Daisy. Whoa! Ah! Nope. Same result. Molly, let's go back to the castle and take a, a good night's sleep and then we can come back to the park tomorrow again. Great idea, Daisy. This has been an amazing time. All right, Toy. Oh, man. Good luck to you, my friend. Good luck. This is the part we're going to go crashing down. Hey, how come his isn't crashing? Mine crashed. What? Wait. What? What? <laughs> Ah, awesome, Audrey. That was a crazy ride, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, Toy Hero fans, thanks so much for watching this awesome Roblox roleplay. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hey, Audrey. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our awesome videos. Yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> These America's Funniest Videos are so funny! Molly, I think that's kind of the point, is that they're supposed to be funny. Yeah, but sometimes I watch shows and I'm like, this isn't even funny. But this one is totally funny. Hey, bro, you want some popcorn? Really? You'd share your popcorn with me? You never share your snacks with anyone. Yeah, I'm kind of a pig when it comes to eating snacks. But you're my best friend, and so I'll share the popcorn with you. I don't mind. Wow, Molly. <laughs> I can't believe how long we've been best friends. I know, right? We've been BFF since, uh, uh, since preschool. Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brooke 
Lucky, what's your name? <coughs> Are you in time out? No. Then what's the problem? Aren't you having fun? No, I'm not having fun. I miss my mommy. I want to go home. Oh, well, I'm not your mommy, but my name's Bookie. What's your name? My name's Molly. Hi, Molly. Maybe we could be each other's friends and we could have fun at daycare together. I want to have fun with anyone. I want my mommy. Yeah. I'll give you a hug if it makes you feel better. Really? You will? You're not my mommy. Yeah, but I could be your best friend. Here, you could also have this hippo. You could hug him too and make you feel better. Aww, it does make me feel a little better. My name's Molly, if I didn't tell you already. I'm, I'm Vicky, like I said, and I think we could be really good friends if you want. I want to be your friend, because you seem really nice. You seem sad, but I bet you're really nice too. Yeah, I, I'm nice. We could be best friends so we're old. Whoa, old is a long way away. Yeah, but we should be best friends until then. I agree. We could be best friends through all of school. And we could have adventures together. Yeah, that sounds fun. Do you want to go home anymore? Nah, I want to stay here with my best friend. Aw, that's sweet. Wow, we really have been friends forever. Yeah, almost close to forever. Hey, I've got to tell you something, Brookie. What is it, Molly? Well, I actually have to show you something. Stay here. I'll be right back. She's going to be so surprised when she sees this. <laughs> I bet she's totally forgotten about it. Now, where is it? Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Her cute little hippo that she gave me way back in preschool. Come on, elevator. There, it wasn't working. What is it? <gasps> My hippo! You still have it all these years later? Yeah, I think it's time to return it to its owner. It's given me a lot of comfort over the years. Oh, hi, hippo! Oh, I love my hippo! I totally forgot that you had it all these years. Yeah, I got it from my BFF, so I kept hippo nice and safe. Aw, Molly, this is so sweet. Thanks for inviting me over today, bestie. No problem, Brookie. Anytime. Well, I better get home. I've got a lot of homework to do. Ugh, boring. See you later, Molly. Bye, Brookie. Brookie is such a cool girl. I'm so glad she's my bestie. Ah, I should probably get some fresh air. <laughs> Maybe ride my bike or something. Whoa! Someone's moving into that giant mansion next door. Like, seriously, it's a mansion. Whoever lives there must be rich. I should probably go say hi. Moving you in. <laughs> knock, knock. Anybody home? Hello, is anybody there? Is anybody home? Oh, hi. You must be one of the new neighbors. I'm Brittany. Can I come in? Sure, just push the door open. My hands are a little full right now. Hi, I'm Molly. Where'd you go? Sorry, I just have to go back down to the moving truck. I'll be right there. <laughs> it literally looked like she flew to the moving truck. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Wow, your house is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> My parents have a lot of money. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. So, what's the school like here? Oh, I think you'll like Brookhaven High. It's pretty nice. Cool. So, uh, you want to hang out? Aren't you busy? Nah, this can wait. And besides, our butler can help me. Your butler? Holy guacamole. Are you a Billie Eilish fan? Totally. I love her music. You should see me in a crown. Ooh, I love that song. Um, so you want a snack? Ha 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 ha! Thought you'd never ask. Come on. We have tons of stuff in our fridge. Tons of treats and stuff. Ooh, treats. You're speaking my language. So what do you want? Ice cream, pizza, Reese's, uh, anything you want. Ooh, double scoop of ice cream. Mmm. Bernie, this is delicious. It's gourmet. Our chef makes it at home with an amazing hand-turned ice cream machine. Whoa, that sounds fancy. And wait a minute, did you just say you have a chef? Yeah, we can call on our chef anytime to make us anything we want. Holy guacamole, you live a really charmed life. 
yeah, it's pretty cool. But most important thing are my favorite people. Really? Could I be one of your favorite people? It seems like you could. You seem really cool, Molly. And since we're neighbors, we should probably be BFFs. Don't you have a BFF from your old town? No, I was, well, not very popular at my old school. Really? But you're really funny and nice and, well, you seem super cool. Yeah, I don't know. My old school was kind of lame. <sighs> my parents had to pay a million dollars for me to go there a year. Whoa! Holy guacamole! Yeah, but I think it was a waste of their money. I'd rather go to public school because people there just seemed so rude to me. Wow. Mm, this ice cream's great. Want to see my room? Well, <laughs> it's totally not completely unpacked yet. But you can see it if you want. Yeah, I'd love to. Wow, her room is probably amazing. Come on, let's go up the elevator. Well, here it is. Oh my guacamole! It's like you've got a New York City style loft apartment up here. Is this your own bathroom? Yeah, that's pretty posh, right? Totally. Brittany, I was thinking maybe we should be BFFs. Yeah, definitely. Oh, sorry, I've got to take this. Hello? Hey, Molly. <laughs> I came home and did my homework, and I thought maybe we could hang out again because we're BFFs. Um, sorry, Brookie. I'm busy. Busy? I could help you with your, like, chores or anything. I don't mind. I mean, you shared your popcorn with me. Molly, who is that? Come on. Don't you want to spend time with me? Um, Brookie, I'm here with my BFF right now. I can't talk. What? I'm your BFF. What are you talking about? No, um, I'm sorry, but you can just be my regular friend because... Uh, my next-door neighbor, Brittany, is really cool, and I've decided she's my BFF. Are you serious, Molly? We've been best friends since preschool. What are you talking about? Um, I'm really sorry, but the phone's breaking up. C -c -c Can't hear you. Molly, I know you're making those crackly sounds. I'm coming over. No, don't do it. Okay, okay, she hung up on me. Who was that? It was my ex-BFF. Wait a minute, you had a best friend before me? Uh, yeah, but she means nothing to me. You're everything, Brittany. You're everything. Seriously? The only fun thing you could find to do with your new BFF is hang out in the bathroom? What, do you have to fart or something? Whoa, Brookie, what's going on with your face? Uh, Molly, that's the look of jealousy. Are you jealous that we are BFFs and you're no longer her BFF? Yeah, I am, because Molly's been my BFF since preschool, and we're best friends. Um, okay, I can see you guys are going to fight over me now, right? Well, I'm not going to fight, because I'm just going to, I'm going to challenge you to a competition to see who her best friend really is. Oh, okay, um, well, how about a dance competition? Good, fine, let's do it. Maybe we should come out of the bathroom, though. <laughs> There's a lot more space out here, guys. All right, um, I guess let the dance competition begin. Oh, yeah? You think that's a good dance move? I don't think so, Brittany. I can do that in a heartbeat. Wow, you guys are really going to fight over me. I'm not sure if I should be afraid or flattered. Watch this dance move, but you can't do this. Oh, yeah? I totally can do that. all day yeah until one of us drops over guys stop 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 this is insanity look I, I, I want you to both be my friends molly are you serious we just had a flashback together at the beginning of this video yeah that was pretty special that's because we've been friends forever best friends are built on years of getting to know one another being there for one another you've known this girl for five seconds Okay, I guess you're right. I, I got a little starry-eyed about all the snacks at her house. Oh, Molly, you're always thinking about your stomach. Wait a minute, are you saying that Molly only likes me because I have snacks? No, Brittany, I'm saying that I know Molly enough to know that sometimes her stomach thinks more than her brain. OMG, you do know me the best, you do! I do. Look, Brittany, Bookie is my best friend, but I want you to be my friend and maybe over time, you both can be my BFFs. But best friends takes time. I understand, Molly, and I still want to be your friend. And maybe, Brookie, if you don't hate me too much, we could be friends too. Oh, I don't know about that, Brittany. 
Come on, Brookie. I know you. You're a kind person. Let Brittany into your heart. Yeah, I guess. But don't try to steal my best friend again! Whoa! <laughs> don't mess with Brookie. <laughs> you guys, we could have so much fun today. There's a lot of snacks here. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's go eat some. Molly, tell me again why we need to go to the grocery store. We have plenty of healthy food here. What? No, we, we need snacks. We're going to have a pool party. We need snacks. We also need some firewood so we can have s'mores. And also we could just sit by the fire. It'll be so nice. Yeah, exactly. Now, come on. I'll drive. No way. You're not driving. You're a crazy driver. No, I'm not. I'm a great driver. But anyway, I'm not going to fight you on this. I'll just let you drive because I need to get the snacks right now. They need to get in my stomach. <laughs> Oh, brother Molly, you're always thinking about your snacks. Always your snacks. But wait a minute. Your car won't start. It's broken. What? No, my car's amazing. No, Molly, your car is a rust bucket. It hardly runs ever. Come on, we're taking my car. Your car? But you had a scooter, I thought. No, I traded it in for this sweet ride. Look at it, Molly. You wish you had it, don't you? You wish, you wish. Um, no. I was just saying, like, um, you know, you you have a car now, but it's not that great or anything. Molly, it's totally great. And we're off to the grocery store for lots of s'mores and snacks and stuff. Wow, Daisy, nice driving. Oopsie, I was going the wrong way. <laughs> wow, you're such a rebel. Where are you going? I gotta get some gas, of course. Well, hurry up, Daisy. This is taking forever. Do you want to just get the snacks at the gas station? No. I want to get snacks from the grocery store. Okay, I'll be right back. What, you got to go to the bathroom or something? Hurry up! The party's going to start soon. Molly, we're the only ones at the party. We can get there anytime we want. Besides, I'm kind of hungry. Seriously? You had to stop for snacks on the way to get snacks? Yeah, you can't have too much snacks. Well, I have to agree with you there. store one of my favorite places jeepers molly you might want to wait till the car stopped <laughs> you could uh, have me run over your foot okay i'll get the car i'll get the car okay miss bossy relax i know snacks are important to you and stuff but oh you ran that into my bum sorry i didn't mean to run the cart into you ouch that really hurt that's gonna leave a mark okay what should we get how about something healthy like apples are you gonna turn it into apple pie no then no apples. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah, we'll get some of that to drink. Molly, I don't think that that cheese is ready to go yet. What? It's in the cabinet. Why not? I don't know. Oh, okay. So I got two watermelons, some chips, some soda. And what else do we need, Daisy? We could make a bean dip. Beans. <laughs> That's what I think of beans. They'll make you too. You'll be farting in the pool. Molly. <laughs> You'll make it into a hot tub jacuzzi. Ugh, this is making me so tired. Ugh, I hope I can stay awake for the party. Molly! <laughs> what? It's raining! How are we going to have a pool party now? W raining? No! Oh, man! Molly, you also forgot something else if you hadn't noticed. What? You forgot to put your car back! You're still holding it, and it's hanging out the bottom of my car! I wonder what that clunk, clunk, clunk sound was the whole way home. Probably your car. It's kind of a piece of junk. Molly! Um, oops, I accidentally stole their cart from the grocery store. And, um, you'd have to drive that back to them now. It's kind of convenient, though. I could, I feel like, I feel like I could store all my stuff in here. Oh, brother Molly. Do you think it's going to rain all night? I mean, we're going to have this amazing pool party. Molly, get rid of the car already. Okay, it's gone. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna get in the pool. Just kidding. Not gonna get in the pool. It's raining! Well, you know, Molly, who cares if it's raining? I mean, you're gonna get wet in the pool anyway, right? I'm going out to have a party. I'm gonna have a party. Okay, fine. I'll meet you out at the pool. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I thought it stopped raining. It's still raining. Hey, what? what's that in the pool over there? 
Is, is there somebody in my pool? Hello? What are you doing in my pool? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have to hide. What, what was that? D Daisy! Daisy! Marty, hold on. I'm making the bean dip. Daisy, I already told you. No bean dip. It'll make you fart. Molly! Daisy, there was somebody in our pool. I think it might have been a mermaid. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. You're trying to prank me right now. No, Daisy. Seriously. There was... There was something in the pool. It was... It, it looked like a woman. She was wearing a crown. Like Billie Eilish. You should see me in a crown. <laughs> Daisy, stop teasing me right now. Also, I love that song. I know, me too. Okay, yeah, but I'm serious right now. Basically, there's a mermaid in the pool. Molly, just go take this and cut up the watermelon. Ugh! You don't believe me, but I'm telling the truth. Yeah, right, Molly. No, seriously, I, I am telling the truth. Okay, I can't seem to find a knife to cut this watermelon. But I really want you to come outside and see this mermaid. Molly, there's no mermaid. I'll prove it to you. Okay, let's see. I don't see a mermaid. She, she swam down there. Where, in the deep end? Well, maybe she's at the bottom of the pool. Come on, let's look. Really, Molly? Yes, come on. We have to go look. Okay, fine. Oh, it's raining so hard. Tell me about it, Molly. Hey, what's that over there? It, it looks like... It looks like something's hidden under our pool. What? What is that, Molly? It's where the mermaid went. Come on, Molly, let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, I'm not so good at swimming under here. Ugh. Molly, what is this place? Daisy, it looks like... It looks like a house under our pool. What is going on? Whoa, Molly, this is weird. Totally. Look, there's all these mermaid pictures. This is really weird. There's a bathroom in here with a toilet and a shower and everything. Seriously? Yeah. What's going on? What's in here? Ah! Ah! What, what, what's going on? Oh my god, you found my secret lair. Who are you? Um, I'm a mermaid and I live in your pool. What? You li you're a mermaid and you live in my pool. Are you serious right now? Yes, I'm, I'm totally serious. Um, can you stop swimming into my head? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not good at staying at the bottom of the water for a long time. I'm not a mermaid. What is going on right now? Am I having a weird dream or something? Um, no. I think this is reality because I'm dreaming it too. <laughs> you see, I fell in love with this human. And, well, I was trying to swim to find him. And I got into the water. And when I did, my tail started to dry out. And so I found the first thing of water I could find. And I guess that was your pool. Wait a minute. You fell in love with... Let me get this straight. You fell in love with a human. You tried to find him by coming out onto land. And then you found out you couldn't do that because your tail dried out. And you jumped in my pool. Yes, pretty much. And, um... Well, how did you get this house in my pool? Oh, I built that myself. We mermaids are very crafty and also sort of magical. Wow! This is amazing. How am I breathing down here? Oh, yeah, about that. I just installed some oxygen takes down here so, you know, you could breathe underwater. Wow. Can we be your friends? You're pretty cool. I don't know. Mermaids aren't supposed to be friends with humans. <sighs> and the love of my life is a human. Wow, that sounds like a real problem. But since you're living in my pool, I think either A, I can be your landlord and you have to pay me rent, or B, we can be friends. Oh, What's a landlord? What's rent? It means you have to pay me money for living here. Oh, money. I don't have any of that. Well, then we have to be friends. Molly, don't make her be a friend. That's not very nice. So what are we going to do to help you find your Prince Charming? My who? Well, that's what we humans call, like, your prince, your, your magical person, your love of your life. I don't know. I heard rumors that he had gotten into the ocean and been turned into a mermaid. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny because, like, you know, you came out on land to try to find him and he went into the water to find you and neither one of you found each other. Oh, yeah, Marty. Hilarious. Well, I'm sorry. I just I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, well, now I have to get back to the ocean and I don't know how I'm going to do it. Well, I've got an idea. I've got this giant Tupperware container that I keep all of my old, like, clothes in and stuff and I could dump it out put some water in it. 
put you in it. Put it, you in my car and drive you back. Mommy, that's not gonna work. Actually, that might work really well. Of course, then you'd have to leave this awesome apartment behind. Well, I'm sure you guys could find a use for it. Really? We can have your underwater house? If you help me get back to the ocean? Sure, Molly. Can we be friends forever, please? Please, please. Molly, she doesn't have to be a friend forever. You guys seem pretty awesome. I'll be your friend forever. Wow! I can't believe a mermaid actually lives underneath our pool. Life's weird sometimes. <laughs> oh, brother Marty, I'm still thinking that I'm dreaming. Nope, neither one of you are dreaming. I'm as real as can be. Can you give us a magic wish? Or three magic wishes? Or ten mag magic wishes? Uh, no, mermaids don't work that way. What? Then I want a genie! I want a genie instead of a mermaid! Molly! <laughs> It's Saturday, 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 Saturday. I love me some Saturday. Molly, shh. I'm trying to do my homework on a Saturday. Are you crazy? Hey, girls. So, um, I have to go to work today. Wait, what? We're supposed to go to the park. Mom! Sorry, Molly. I have to go in for a work session. But don't worry. I'm going to call Grandma right now and see if she wants to come hang out with you guys. Okay, I'm cool with Grandma coming. That That's cool. Hello, who's there? Achoo! Oh, Grandma, you don't sound so good. Are you all right? Oh, dear. I've caught a little cold, or maybe it's the flu. I don't know, but Kitty Kittums and I are both very sick. Oh, Grandma, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, I guess you won't be able to babysit Molly and Daisy today. Oh, tell them I'm so sorry, but I can't come over. Okay, Grandma, you rest and get better. Tell Kitty Kittums we hope she gets better, too. Oh, thank you, dear. Bye-bye. Oh, no. Now what am I going to do? I have to go to this work session today or I'll get fired. Um, we could just hang out here by ourselves. Absolutely not, Molly. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll just have to pull out Google and see if I can find a good babysitter. Uh, you sure that's a good idea, Mom? It's going to be fine, Molly. Look, this Karen lady got a five-star review. Only one? Mm-hmm, but I think that she should be fine. Okay, um, so I'm going to give her a call and see if she wants to come over. Daisy, can you believe it? We're not going to have Grandma as a babysitter. Molly, seriously, could you get out of my personal space? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's just that I, I don't know about this Karen lady. My, my gut is telling me something's just kind of off about her. Molly, you've never even met her before. Don't be silly. Okay, fine. La 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 la, I guess I'll just watch Brookhaven High till she gets here. And then maybe she can take us to the water park. Ah oh, ha ha! Actually, I'm gonna watch these silly dogs. This is even funnier. Hello? Is someone gonna open the door already? Oh, looks like the new babysitter's here. Come on in, Karen. Did I tell you my name? Uh, no. Our mom told you your name. Oh, well, what are your little names? Um, my name is Molly. We're not little, by the way. We can almost babysit ourselves. Yeah, Karen. Um, and my name is Daisy. What, did you sort of, like, forget or something? It took you a while to say it. Um, no, sorry. I was just thinking about my homework still. Homework on a Saturday? That sounds lame. I don't like doing homework on Saturdays. I mean, when I was in jail, I mean, when I was younger, um, we just watched cartoons. Did you just say jail? No, you only heard jail. Pretty sure I, you said jail, and then I heard it. Molly, don't be rude. She's our new babysitter. Okay, let's watch this channel, because I like it so much. What are we going to watch? Okay, are you going to pick something? Ooh, look, cops, my favorite. Oh, I hate this show. Karen, can we watch something else? No, and get out of here. You're really starting to annoy me. Whoa, Daisy, she's kind of grumpy. Also, you have bad breath. Why don't you brush your teeth? Ah, oh, yeah. Probably should have done that today. <laughs> Oopsie. Let's see. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Here it is. La, 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 la. Well, the thing I can say about Karen is at least she's honest. I mean, I do have stinky breath. La, 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 la. Okay, I'm done brushing my teeth. Maybe Karen will be nice to me now. Hurry up and mop that floor. It's taking you forever. Molly, I don't have a good feeling about this Karen lady. Oh, now you don't. You didn't listen to me before. Well, that's because I hadn't even met her before. Well, have fun doing chores. I'm getting in the hot tub. Uh, no getting in the hot tub. I'm sure you have something better to do with your time. 
Uh, then get in the hot tub on a Saturday? Not really. Yes, you do. Get out of there right now. Okay, fine. My mom lets me get in the hot tub. That's why we have it. Well, do I look like your mom? No, I don't. I look like Karen. So basically, you can't do anything that I don't want you to do because I'm in charge. See how it says I'm in charge on my shirt? Um, no. Well, it should say I'm in charge on my shirt. Duh. Um, okay. Uh, why are you vacuuming the hot tub? I wasn't meaning to do that. Duh. What a ridiculous question. Why don't you go to your room? Um... Okay, if I really have to, but on Saturdays, normally we go to the park. Could we go to the park, Karen? Please, please, please. Will it mean that you two will be quiet and leave me alone? Um, yeah, sure. Fine, we'll go, but it's starting to get dark, so we won't be there very long. Okay, I'm okay with that. Wow, Karen, you're fast. Of course I am. I'm not lame and slow like you. Whoa, uncalled for, Karen. You don't have to be rude. Maybe your legs are just longer than mine. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, I can meet you for pizza. Yeah. Oh, wow, she's on the phone. She's not even paying attention to what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm babysitting these two little brats right now. Hey! I'm not a brat! Take that back! Uh, do you need to be grounded for, like, a year? Can't ground me for a year. You're only watching me for the day. Whatever. Yeah, she's being so annoying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'll meet you for pizza afterwards, okay? All right. Yeah, no, I don't like that pizza place. Whoa. She didn't like that pizza place, so she yelled at the person on the phone. Why are you guys just sitting here? Like, go be annoying somewhere else. Okay, fine. I don't, I, I don't like this lady. She's mean, Molly. <laughs> Daisy, don't cry. It's going to be okay. Remember, she's only going to be watching us for like six more hours. Six more hours? That's forever! <laughs> Daisy, are you okay? Oh my god, Karen! Daisy passed out! Daisy passed out! What? Oh my god, what happened? What'd you do to her? I didn't do anything! <laughs> I want my mommy! Oh, she didn't really get hurt. She's just crying that she wants her mommy. I thought you were a big girl now and you weren't a baby. Hey! Don't call my sister a baby! Don't talk to Karen that way. Why are you calling yourself Karen? That's weird. Because I am Karen. Don't talk to Karen that way. Um, or you can sit in a timeout. Hello? Yeah, I told you I don't like that pizza. No, I don't want pizza hot. Yuck. I don't eat that pizza. I have to go. I have to watch these brats and they're being really annoying. Wow, Daisy, maybe we should run away. I think we should, Molly. I think we should. I have the perfect place. Come on. She'll never think to look for us here. Wow, Molly, that's way more peaceful in here. Yeah, no annoying Karen and all the food we could ever dream of. Chicken special, hot chocolate. There you annoying girls are. What do you think you're doing? We don't have money for the diner. Speak for yourself, Karen. We have money. Well, then you're going to buy me lunch for running away. Oh, my gosh. I, 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 I want to go home. And I want my mom. What's this I hear? Wait, what was that sound? It sounded like my grandma. Watch out, Karen. Grandma? Oh, girls, what's going on over here? Are you okay? Grandma, what are you doing here? Oh, I was just coming to get the diner's famous chicken noodle soup. And Kitty McKinnums and I have been under the weather. But after the chicken noodle soup, we're feeling quite a bit better, aren't we, Kitty Kittums? <coughs> Who are you, old hag? <coughs> Whoa, rude! That's my grandma, Karen! Who is this lady? She's our babysitter, Karen. Oh my, well, this won't do. Thank you for your services, Karen. I will even pay you double. Just go away right now. Grandma, really? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. How do I know if you're actually their grandma? Um, because we're telling you she's our grandma and we look just like her. Okay, yeah, good point. Well, Laura was going to pay me $50, so if you want me to go away, you're going to have to pay me $200. You're not even worth $1! How about I just spray you with this um, fire extinguisher instead? What? What are you talking about? You don't get to spray me with a fire extinguisher. Actually, I know my grandma and she's gonna. <laughs> oh, forget about the money, you brats. Oh, <laughs> grandma, that was awesome. We took care of that old Karen, didn't we? Now, come on, girls. Let's get some lunch at the diner and then go to the park. Thanks so much, Grandma. 
You rescued us. We love you so much, Grandma. Oh, we love you too. Me and Kitty Kittums both. Oh, that was the longest day of school ever. I really was, Smiley. Hey, look, Daisy, there's the, <laughs> there's the witch's house. I don't think it's really a witch, Molly. Yes, it is. Look at it. It's such a creepy house. Well, I think it's just a little old lady who lives there. Maybe she can't afford a nice house or something. Yeah, maybe, but <laughs> I've been told a witch lives there. I don't think so, Molly. Gosh, you're so judgy. Well, if it's not a witch, I dare you to go knock on the door. Actually, I double dog dare you. Fine, it's not even a witch. I'll show you. Well, knock. Whoa, the door's just open, Molly. Well, go in. That's rude. You don't just go into someone's house. Oh, boy, I'll just go in myself. Ooh, look. There's snacks on the counter. <gasps> a Hershey bar and Coca Cola? I'm starving after school. All they had for lunch was sauerkraut. Ew. That's because you had in school detention and you were late for lunch and that's all that was left. I had pizza. Well, good for you. I'm going to eat this candy bar. Mmm, this is delicious. <laughs> Molly, was that your stomach? No, was it yours? No. Oh, well, this candy's delicious. Okay, Daisy, that was definitely the sound of a witch. There's no witch here, Molly. <laughs> I am a witch. Ah! OMG, I knew it. Hi there. <laughs> eating all my candy, are we? Uh, nope, not eating any of your candy. No, not us. Molly, I told you a witch lived here. You never listen to anything I say. Oh, I know you were eating my candy. I can smell it. <laughs> Just another unfortunate set of kids that fell for my candy trap. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a little bit like Hansel and Gretel right now. But at least my stomach is full of candy bar. Delicious. Oh, if only I could have eaten a cupcake too. Molly, snap out of it. <laughs> For being such naughty kids, I think I'll cast a spell on you. Oh no, we'll just be going. Don't move. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, I know the perfect spell. <laughs> Daisy, what's happening? Perfect. <laughs> Enjoy your life as kittens. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. See you later. <laughs> meow, meow. S -s -s meow, meow, meow. Oh my gosh, look at those adorable kittens. Oh, hi. Oh, that one's much smaller than the other one. Must be that one steals all the food. Are you guys abandoned? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi, I'm Brookie. Meow, meow. How about, do you want to come home with me? And you too? Oh, I'm going to name you Whiskers and Calico. But I'll call you Callie for short. Oh, you guys are so cute. Come on, let's go back to my house. I don't think you have a home. Looks like you've been abandoned. That's so sad. Meow, 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 meow. Don't worry, Whiskers. I won't leave without you. And I just happen to have some cat food that's so delicious at my house. Well, I mean, I didn't eat it, so I don't really know if it's delicious. But the cats seem to really like it. I've rescued other cats in the neighborhood, and then I find them good homes. But you guys are so cute. I might keep you for myself. So we'll have to see. I might adapt you out because, you know, the goal in the end is for you to have a nice home. Meow. Meow. Don't worry, Callie. Everything's going to be fine. Here's my house, guys. It's pretty much an amazing indoor wilderness for all the animals I rescue. Meow. Oh, no, that's not a litter box. No, 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 kitty. Meow. Oh, kitty. Okay. Callie, you have a lot to learn. 
No whiskers! Okay. Guys, the litter box is in the bathroom. Oh, that one doesn't like taking a bath, apparently. Or swimming, or water. I always forget that about cats. No, no, whiskers! Don't scratch the couch! Oh, Sometimes being an animal rescuer is much harder than I thought it would be. Okay, come on. Let's get you some delicious food. Oh, hi, Callie. Okay, you two, not on the counters. Oh, who am I kidding? The animals run this place. I just live here. Kelly, that's my taco. Ugh, I never met a cat who liked eating tacos before. <laughs> Kelly, you're one unique cat. Meow, meow. Okay, Whiskers, there's some delicious food for you. Well, you cats were outside for a long time. You probably have fleas, and you definitely need a bath. You both stink terribly. Come on, up to the bathtub. Now, I know you cats don't like baths, but this has to happen if you want to live here. <coughs> Callie, come back here. You can't just hide from me. <coughs> don't cry, sweet little baby kitten. Everything will be fine, I promise. The bath will be over before you know it. Wow, Callie, you have a little bit of a temper. All right, come right in here. Wow, Callie, that's not nice for you, the person who rescued you and cares about you. Now, in the tub. Callie, don't you shake your head at me. No, you have to get in the tub. Come on. Oh, Callie is definitely a little bit of a pill. Whiskers is pretty well behaved. See, Callie, it's not that bad. All right, let's get you dried off and into bed. Oh, the cats are purring. Oh, they're so happy here. I don't think I can adopt them out. I mean, they're just so sweet and, and unique. Even Callie with her bad attitude sometimes. She just seems like she belongs to me. Meow, meow. Aw, I think they're saying that they love me. Well, I want to tell you guys something. I love you too. Molly? Daisy? Why did I say meow? Meow. I said it too. Guys, you were just kittens three seconds ago. W -w 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 what's going on? Wait, I'm starting to remember something. Yeah, we went into the witch's house. The witch's house? Why did you do that? Because Molly said a witch didn't actually live there. Turns out she does. And we ate some of her candy, which she didn't like. <laughs> and um, she turned us into kittens. Because you said you loved us, at least I think that's why, it broke the curse. Oh my gosh, this is insane. What if I had given you to somebody else and they never said that they loved you and you are cats forever? Yeah, that would have been crazy. Besides, ugh, cat kibble, gross. Well, you decided to eat a taco instead, Molly. <laughs> whether I'm human or whether I'm cat, taco is always delicious. outside today. I can't wait to do one of my favorite things. Climb trees. Oh, this one's huge. Uh, uh. I can't I can't jump up on it. Uh, I have to climb this tree because I have like a really cool plan once I climb it. Yeah! I'm almost to the top. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm on top of the tree. Okay, now I'm going to jump over here onto this. Oh, Marty, what are you doing up there? Are you crazy? No, I just climbed this tree. Look at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Falling down the tree. Molly, that doesn't look like fun. That just looks like, whoa, you up really high and you might fall. 
What's that down there, Daisy? I can't hear you, and you're the size of a little tiny ant. No, I'm not, Molly. How do you know? I'm way up here, and you're way down there. I don't know, Molly, but climbing a tree doesn't sound too fun to me. I'm going to go make some cookies. What? No, Mom said we can't have cookies today. Maybe she said you can't have cookies, but I can. What? How come Daisy gets cookies and I don't? That's not fair at all. Oh, that, that's not fair. Okay, I'm going to go find out why she gets cookies and I don't. Mom, 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 mom. Molly, mom is relaxing. Stop yelling her name constantly. Jeez. Well, I'm going to eat some of those cookies. No, you're not, Molly. I'm making them all for me. <laughs> you have to share with me, Daisy. No, I don't. Fine, I'm telling on you. Okay, fine. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, Molly, I'm trying to watch the news and relax. What would you like? I would like to know why it is you said, Molly, you cannot have any cookies. But you said, Daisy, you can have cookies. Something about that seems very unfair. And I think, you know what I think? You want to know what I think? Um, sure, Molly. I think Daisy's spoiled. What? No, she's not, Molly. Yes, she is. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. Um, Molly, I told Daisy that she could have cookies today because she did her chores. What? Well, I should be able to have cookies too, Mom. Did you do your chores like I asked? Uh-huh. You did, Molly? So if I went in your room, I wouldn't find any dirty laundry in there and your bed would be made? Uh-huh, Mom, no need to go in my room, Mom. Mom, don't go in there. It's like a bomb went off. Molly, look at all this stinky laundry and your bed isn't made. This is why you don't get to make cookies. But but she's just a spoiled sister. That's not even fair. I think it's actually really fair, Molly. Do your chores. Oh, Daisy, how come you get to eat cookies? You're so spoiled. No, I'm not, Molly. I did my chores like a good kid, and now I get a reward. I've had it with all of you. Closing the door. Fine, I'll make my bed and then maybe I'll get a cookie or something. There, I made my bed. Now I should be able to get a cookie. Daisy, where's all the cookies? Daisy? Daisy, where is all the cookies? Molly, don't bother your sister. She made those cookies because she did her chores. But mom, I made my bed. Shouldn't I get a cookie? Uh, only if Daisy says you can have one. They're her cookies. Daisy, Daisy! What, Molly? Can I have one of your cookies? No, go make your own. Besides, I promised Pookie Cookie could have um some of them. She's coming over later. But I want a cookie. No, Molly, go out of here. Fine. Hey, wait a minute. Daisy didn't make her bed either. Yes, I did, Molly. It's just, don't you remember earlier? You were jumping on it and you made it all messy. You mean like this? Boing, 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 boing. Molly, stop making a mess of the bed that I already um, fixed. Molly, why are you jumping on Daisy's bed? Uh-oh. Whoops. Oh, I think that Daisy already straightened up her room and now you're making a mess of it. Why don't you go out and think about what you've done? You mean like sit in time out? Uh-huh. That's exactly what I mean. Daisy is so spoiled. Oh, she never has to sit in time out. This is so unfair. Yes, Molly, I know. It's so unfair. Hey, time out. Time out is the worst. Molly, you remember the rules of time out. Be quiet, please. Oh, so ridiculous. I have to sit in time out right now just because I jumped on Daisy's bed. And, oh. Okay, Molly, your time out's up. Thank goodness. Mom, can you come in here, please? Okay, Daisy, what is it? Yeah, Daisy, what is it? You're going to be spoiled again? Actually, I was wondering if um, maybe Bookie Cookie could have a slumber party. Sure, I don't see why not. What? 
Yeah, but I asked earlier if I could have over some of my friends, and you said no. Well, that's because you didn't do your homework, Molly, like I asked. And now you have to spend your night doing it. I did my homework. Sort of. Molly, I don't think you actually did your homework. I'm going to go check your desk and see if it's there. Mom, no, no. There's no need for you to go to my room. Mom, wait, come back. Mom. Oh, let me see. It looks like none of the problems on these have been answered. Hmm. And there's a letter from your teacher to me. You didn't tell me about this, Molly. What letter? What letter? This one, Molly. <sighs> Dear Toy Hero Laura, Molly hasn't done her homework in three days. Please make sure when she comes back to school that she has it all done. Molly, I'm so disappointed in you. Yeah, I totally get why you'd be disappointed in me. Why, because you didn't do your homework? No, because I'm not the good kid, the one that you spoil and treat the best. Just me, I, I'm treated bad. <laughs> Molly, I don't know why you're crying right now. You put yourself in this boat. What boat? I don't even like boats. Uh, you know what I mean, Molly. What I'm saying is, is that you, you decided not to do your homework. And you decided not to do your chores. And Daisy did. So Daisy gets to have all of the enjoyable things in life because she did what she's supposed to. And you didn't. So no friends and no treats. You know the rules, Molly. Oh, this is horrible. Well, if you want it to be different, all you have to do is do your chores and your homework. Oh, man. Chores, homework. That sounds like a lot of work just to, like, have a cookie. But I don't know. Cookies are pretty worth it. Wait a minute. I could go out and make cookies. And Mom wouldn't even know it. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Let's see. Where are the cookies? There they are. Making some cookies. Making some cookies. Ooh, now I've got to form up the cookies. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, I'm making some cookies. Oh, did you finally do all your homework and your chores? Yeah, that's it. I definitely did. Oh, good job, Molly. I bet your cookies are going to be delicious. They're totally going to be delicious. And nobody can have any but me. Oh, Buado, Molly. I don't need your cookies anyway. Molly, what are you doing? Are you making a snack? <gasps> Molly, are you making cookies? No, um, there's nothing to see here, Mom. Nothing to see. Molly, you are not allowed to eat treats because you were very naughty. Oh, uh, it's not really a treat if you're really hungry, is it? It's totally a treat, Molly. Well, um, it's already in the oven baking, so there's really nothing we can do about it now. Yes, you're not going to eat those cookies. I'll eat them. I'm still hungry. Um, I don't know, Daisy. You've had a lot of cookies today. I don't even know why we're talking about this. No one's eating my cookies. Everybody get away from me. Molly, do not close that door. Molly? Oh my gosh, I've got to hide with my cookies. Hiding in the bathroom, guys. Hiding in the bathroom. Okay, my mom didn't find me. Yes, she did! Molly, you are grounded for the rest of the day. Now go put those cookies back in the refrigerator. But mom, I'm really hungry! Well, then you can have a salad. Or a yogurt. Ugh. Now I'm grounded and I can't eat cookies. All you have to do, Molly, is your chores and your homework. I don't want to do either one of those. Well, neither does your sister Daisy, but she still does them. Well, isn't she just so great? No, she just does what she's supposed to, Molly. And that's why she gets treats and, and has her friends over and stuff. If you promise to start doing that, you can have those things too. How will you spoil both of us? It's not spoiling, Molly. It's just doing what you're supposed to. Do you want to try being better about it? Okay. Really? Yeah, I mean, it stinks not being able to eat a cookie and not being able to play with my friends and stuff. Now, since I agreed to being good, can I have a cookie? All right, Molly, just one. Yes! <laughs> okay, now, how do I get the cookies out of here? I want some cookies, cookie cookies. Here they are. OMG, these are going to taste delicious. 
Oh my gosh, they're gonna taste so good. Only I've never met a kid that loves treats as much as you. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Mom, where are you going with those? Just making sure you're only having one. One? But mom, one will never fill me up. Oh, Molly. Why don't you go get started on that homework? Okay, fine. Baby Kira, move over. You're hogging the couch. How could she hug the couch, Molly? She's only like a tiny little thing. She's like 30 pounds. And you're like a giant monster. Daisy, are you trying to say I'm fat? Rude! Now I'm just saying you're much bigger than baby Kira, so she couldn't be hogging the couch. Why don't you mind your own beeswax? Nobody says that anymore, Molly. What are you, three years old? You're annoying, Daisy. Ditto, Molly. You're annoying, too. Girls, can you just stop fighting for, like, five minutes? No, Mom, sorry, can't. <laughs> it's a part of being sisters. I know, I know. Your Aunt Dora and I used to fight all the time. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That's probably because Aunt Dora drove you crazy. She really did, Molly. She totally did. Um, girls, so I have to tell you something. Ah, oh, we're going to Disney! This is going to be the best day ever! Uh, no. Sorry, Molly. It's actually that I have to go back to work tonight. Oh, well, whatever, Mom. Did you leave us something delicious to eat? Like pizza? Um, yeah, you can, um, get a pizza maybe some other night, but not tonight. What? That's, that, that's so disappointing! Right, Molly? I thought she was going to say we could have a pizza. Then she's like, nah, maybe some other time. Well, what I want to tell you girls is, is that I hired a new babysitter. A new babysitter? Is she crazy right now? I'm way too old for a babysitter. Molly, I'm going to be out super late. I have so much to do with the office. And I know you can stay here alone during the day, but I just don't think it's a good idea for you to be here alone at night. And besides that, who's going to take care of baby Kira? I change your diapers. I'm not going to change your diapers. She's on her own there. <laughs> well, I would, Mom, so it's cool. We don't need a babysitter. I've already called Brittany, and I think you guys are going to really like her. She'll be here in about 15, 20 minutes, but I need to get to work now. Mom, you cannot give us a babysitter. We're way too old for this. We, we look ridiculous. It's humiliating. Molly, you need a babysitter to stay here at late at night. And you're going to need help with baby Kira. Well, I don't need a babysitter. Get a babysitter for baby... Mom! Sorry, Molly. I have to get ready for work. Ugh, can you believe this? Molly, it's not so bad. Maybe this Britney person will be really nice. And maybe she'll be psycho. Mom's not going to hire a psycho babysitter. Why are you drooling, Molly? That's gross. My drool can get baby like me. I'm not a baby like you. Well, Molly, correction, you need a babysitter, so I think you are a baby. I don't want to talk to either of you. I'm going into the kitchen and I'm going to get a snack. I'm going to be grumpy if I want to. Ew, Reese cups. That'll make me feel better. Mm, these are good, but I still feel grumpy. Oh, look, the new babysitter's here. She could be nice, Molly. Just be cool, okay? She has pigtails just like me. I love her already. Oh, my sister is so easily won over. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'll be your babysitter tonight. Oh, whatever. Ooh, this one's a little grumpy. Is it because you're hungry? She's probably not hungry because she just ate Reese cups. I'm hungry, okay? All right, well, uh, it's nice to meet you guys. What's your name? My name's Daisy. My name's Bob. Molly, tell me your weird name. Okay, fine. My name's Bob Molly. Molly! I'm assuming your name is Molly. Am I correct? Yeah, you're correct. Okay, and who's the little baby over there? That's baby Kiwa. Aw, aren't you the cutest? Oh, she's pretending to read. She's not pretending. She can already read some words. Whoa, super baby. Okay, well, I'm going to go into the kitchen and make you guys a delicious and nutritious dinner. I'm all into working out and stuff. Oh, great. You know what I'm into? Being a slug on the couch. <laughs> Molly, why are you being so rude to Brittany? What did she ever do to you? She exists. I did not know me. I'm not mean. I'm just irritated I have to have a babysitter. Okay, girls, come and get it. Time for dinner. 
Wow. <laughs> We're probably going to have seaweed for dinner. Well, where is it, Brittany? Ooh, that was kind of mean. Do you want to say you're sorry, Molly? No, not really. Molly! It's in the oven, staying nice and warm for you guys, so you can get it out yourself, since you guys are big girls. Yeah, so big we don't need a babysitter, but here we are, still having one. So, Molly, um, do you want me to serve you, or are you going to get it? Yeah, give me some! I already said that! Uh, could you please say please? No, I don't say please. Um, well, then maybe you should get it for yourself. I'm fine with getting my own. Thank you so much, Brittany. It looks delicious. Oh, what is this? Thanksgiving dinner? Marty, you love Thanksgiving dinner. What's wrong with you? Just don't like this babysitter, okay? Mm. This is, um... It's super good, Brittany. Thank you. It's fine, I guess. I mean, it's all right. Wow, you're so crumpy. What's her deal, Daisy? She just doesn't want to have a babysitter. Be quiet, Daisy! I'm going to eat this food and I'm going to go, I don't know, chill out in the other room. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> By chill out, I mean jump up and down on the couch. Whee! Molly, are you jumping up and down on the couch? Molly? No, not me. I'm actually jumping up and down on top of the back of the couch. <laughs> Molly, you know that's against the rules. Your mom left me a list, and it said no jumping on the couch. So please stop. No way. You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. Okay, Molly, this is terrible behavior. Why don't you go do your chore, please? What's that? Sit on the couch? No, the laundry, Molly. Your mom said you have to do the laundry, and you're stressed to do the dishes. Fine, whatever. I'll show her the laundry. Molly's gonna put food in the washing machine! Baby Kira, rude! <laughs> this ought to make a real mess for the babysitter to clean up. Molly, just behave yourself already! <laughs> oh, nine, nine, Molly. Molly, did you put Thanksgiving dinner in the washing machine? No, it was Baby Kira. Oh, that's it, Molly. You're you're in timeout. Go to your room. What? You can't give me timeout. Yes, she can, Molly. She's in charge. Oh, this is this is this is terrible. I don't. Oh, you know what? I hate you, Molly. Oh, that was so rude. Well, it's true. I don't need a babysitter. I don't need one. You know what? I don't even need to be in this house. I'm gonna open this window. And I'm gonna sneak out and run away. Molly, Molly, your timeout's over. Molly, where, where'd she go? <gasps> Is the window open? Oh my God, Molly, Molly ran away. I have to try to find her. All I have to do is climb over this wall and to my freedom. <laughs> what, Brittany? I know all the tricks, Molly. I've been a babysitter a very long time. What, I, I didn't want you to catch me. I know you didn't, but that's why I'm a good babysitter. Because I can keep you safe. And also, Molly, if you'd give me a chance, we could be friends. Friends? No, we can't. You're the babysitter that I don't want. Well, I know that, Molly, but your mom was just looking out for you to make sure you were safe. And, of course, baby Kara's still little, so she's really the one that needs the babysitter, not you. You and I could just be friends, and I could be baby Kira's babysitter. What? Really? Yeah, if you'd let me into your heart. Wow, I I never thought about it like that. Well, you're just not as old and wise as I am. I mean, <laughs> I'm 17 now, so I pretty much know everything about life. Whoa, I can't wait till I'm 17. That means I'll know everything too. Yeah, it's pretty much a rite of passage. Once you turn 17, the whole world opens up to you. Wow, well... I mean, you seem pretty nice and everything, but you're not my babysitter. No, <laughs> definitely not, but you still have to listen to what I say. Okay, fine, but only because you're wiser than me and you're 17. All right, but you're baby Kara's babysitter. That's right, Molly, I'm just your friend. Wait a minute, wait, I have another question, wait. Okay, what is it? Can you be Daisy's babysitter? Of course, she's totally immature. <laughs> Brittany, I think we're going to get along as friends just fine. Okay, <laughs> hopefully I can babysit, I mean, 
be your friend again soon because I really like hanging out with you, Molly. I like hanging out with you too, Brittany. What's that smell? Ooh, it smells awful. I could poop where my diaper. Oh, not it. I'm not the babysitter. Okay, baby Kira, come on, let's go. <sighs> Turns out I made a new friend today. <laughs> She's not my babysitter. Don't you forget it. Who woke me up so early? Too early. Holy guacamole, Molly. You look like a crib keeper. Oh, boy. You should put some moisturizer on your face before you fall asleep. Then you won't look like a zombie when you wake up. Get away from me, you evil undead monster. Quit trying to hit me with a broom. Rude. Girls, try to get along, please. Dad, why am I waking up so early right now? It's a school day. I need my rest. Because we wake up an hour early on Fridays to get our chores done. That way we can enjoy our weekend. What? No. That sounds like a horrible idea. Can't we just hire somebody to do all these chores? We could, but we're not rich like that, so no, we can't. Oh, get a second job, Dad. A third job. A fourth job. Well, Molly, you could get another job. <laughs> You're funny, Mom. <laughs> mm, pizza for breakfast. Mm, delicious. Molly, I thought I told you we were going to have a healthy breakfast. Pizza's very healthy. There's cheese, there's pepperoni, and there's bread. What's not to love about that? Mm. Oh, Molly, did you not get enough sleep? Your face looks well, uh... Yeah, I know. Look like a zombie. No, I didn't get enough sleep because someone woke me up at the crack of dawn. Oh, Molly, <laughs> it was not that early. Yeah, Molly. Now, what chore do you want to do today? How about we have a special kind of Friday? A special kind of Friday? I love special Fridays. What is it? It's called Opposite Day. Opposite Day? What's that? It's where everything we normally do is the opposite. You mean I don't have to do these dishes? Absolutely. I'm on board. Really? Yeah, me too. I don't have to fix anything. I think we could get away with one opposite day a month. Ah, uh, well, I don't like opposite day. <laughs> of course you don't. Goody two-shoes. Uh, Molly, let's not name call. And if you would normally name call, you have to do the opposite, which is say nice things to your sister. What? Opposite day's working against me. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Go ahead, Molly. Today's opposite day. You decided. Say nice things to your sister. Fine. Daisy, your shirt is very pink. <gasps> Molly, that's not saying something nice. It's just stating a fact. I like your pigtails. There, is that good enough? Very good, Molly. Now, what would I normally do? Hmm. I'd normally get dressed for school. But since it's opposite day, I'm wearing my pajamas all day and I'm not going to school. Do we... Uh, okay, the girl's not going to school today. It's opposite day! If we go to school, we can't! Well, they do have a point, Dan. What? I don't get to go do my science project? I hate this opposite day thing! I don't like it at all! Oh, Daisy doesn't like opposite day. Maybe we should stop having opposite day. Absolutely not! Well, Molly, since you never want to do chores... Yeah, that is true, I never do. Today's opposite day, and so you have to do them. What? This, this is backfiring on me big time. Sorry, Molly. Grab a mop. Oh, man. Opposite day stinks. I don't know why I thought of this. Well, I mean, I didn't have to go to school, so there's that. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, today's opposite day, and I don't pay the bills on opposite day since I normally pay the bills. And the electric company shut our lights off. What? This is terrible! Dad, why are you wearing a lifeguard uniform? Actually, this is just my beach uniform. I usually go to work, but I don't want to go to work. Where'd you get the lifeguard uniform? Um, when I was 18, I was a lifeguard for the summer. <laughs> and it's the only bathing suit I didn't, like, have packed away for the winter. <laughs> Thought I was done going to the beach, but no! Today's opposite day. See ya! What? Things have gone so crazy! Mom, what are you doing? I don't know what to do with myself. I don't have to do the dishes or make any food or oh my god, I'm gonna go insane! Mom, snap out of it! I don't know what to do on opposite day. 
Hey, I, 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 I have so much free time. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna mop over you then, Mom. Oh, I have dirt between my teeth. Stop mopping my teeth, please. Sorry, Mom, you're laying right in the way. Now, where is Daisy? Oh, I think I should sit down while I mop. This is a much better idea. If you normally sit down, Molly, you can't sit down. You have to actually stand up. Oh, this seems like a lot of work this opposite day. Why did I think this up? Well, you could go to school if you want opposite day to be over. Nope. Nope, I'm fine with it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is be responsible and pay the electric bill so the lights can come back on. What? You're being responsible? Oh, this is the strangest day ever. Huh, that's more like it. Now let's see what Daisy's doing. She better be doing the opposite of what she normally does. Daisy, what are you doing? Are you doing homework? I can't help myself. I love doing schoolwork. In the bathtub? I'm hiding from everybody. <sighs> Daisy, today's opposite day. That means follow me. What? I don't want to. You have to. Normally you're a goody two-shoes. Now you have to be bad. Jump on the bed like me. Boing, 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 boing. Oh my gosh, you do this with so much fun. But it's totally wrong and you should never do it. <laughs> now come over here and open the safe. What? I don't have the code for that. Okay, well, we'll have to find something else to do. Come over here and... Oops, wrong way. How do you not know our house? We've lived here for years. I don't know. I just got kind of confused. Did I not mention that I didn't sleep very good? Okay, come in here. Girls, what are you doing? Hopefully it's the opposite. Oh, I can't even concentrate on this book. Isn't there dishes that need to be washed or something? Molly, we're not supposed to eat ice cream except for after dinner for dessert. Yeah, but right now, mm, this ice cream's good. Wait a minute. This is how you normally are. Not listen, be bad. You don't get to do that, Molly. You have to do the opposite. What? No, I don't. Yes, you do. Do the dishes, Molly. Oh, no way. She has a point, Molly. Do the dishes. Besides, I'm really enjoying taking this time off. Oh, man. I want to do the dishes. Quit fighting and do the dishes. Hey, today's opposite day and you're normally bossy. So how about you stop being so bossy for a change? No, that's just not going to happen, Molly. It should happen. Bossy. Call the paramedics. Ah! Dad, what, what's wrong? I got so sunburned. Ah! Ew! You look like a lobster. Gross! Oh, just put me in a pot. And cook me and put me out of my misery if I'm a lobster. <laughs> oh, man, Dan, you really got fried at the beach. Don't worry, I'll put you out, Dad. Ouch! Don't touch my skin. You mean like this? Oh! Oh, why did you make it opposite day? I could have been totally happy in my cubicle at work instead of having this horrible sunburn. Here, Dad. This will make it feel better. Here, do you want to put this ice cream on your skin? I can't. You're eating it. Oh, sorry. Mm, this is good ice cream. Uh. Well, I think opposite day should be over. What? No, opposite day is great. No school, you know, all that kind of stuff. Here, Dad, you can have what ice cream is left. <laughs> yeah, but I need to do the dishes. And I need to go to work and pay the bills. I feel so strange. And I need to do my science homework. So you're outnumbered, Molly. Opposite day's over. Not yet, it's not. Boing, boing, boing. I still have two hours till midnight. <laughs> oh, boy. OMG! I can't believe I have detention again. Oh, man. Detention? Molly, take your usual seat. Um, you know you're a regular in detention when your teacher writes your name and a message on the board. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Molly. Thanks again for making me have to sit after school with you in detention. Sorry, Mrs. Smith. Uh-huh. So sorry that you don't do your homework. Oh, boy. This is going to be the worst detention ever. I can see it already. 
it's the worst attention for you because you don't do what you're told and you end up here over and over and over. You know, I have a life. I actually had a date tonight at Brookhaven Diner and I had to cancel. I haven't had a date in six months because I sit in detention with you all the time. Uh, sorry? Please go to the board and erase the message and then write, I will do my homework a million times. Oh, a million? Holy guacamole. I will do my homework. Period. Again, Molly. I, I don't want to. You have to do what you're told, Molly. I will do my worst. <laughs> Molly, do I need to give you another detention? You tell me, Mrs. Smith. Do you want to miss another date night? Ugh! Molly! Take your seat and please be quiet. Okay. <laughs> this won't be so bad. It's only two hours. Do, 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 do. Molly, quiet! Okay. <laughs> Molly, you're dismissed from detention. Molly, did you fall asleep? Huh? What? Huh? Try not to keep me in here for another detention this week. I do have a life, you know. <laughs> freedom, freedom, f -f -f freedom. Ah, I can't wait to go home and eat a cupcake. Molly, there you are. Daisy, what's going on? You know how I have that secret, well, not so secret science lab? Yeah, what about it? I, I, I created a time machine. Holy guacamole, you did? Wow, you're definitely going to win the science fair. I didn't do it for the science fair. I created a weather machine for that. Well, anyway, what were you going to tell me? Uh, it's, it's so bad, Molly. I don't even know if I can say it. Just say it. Spit it out. I need a cupcake. Molly, I went to the future. And yours is dark. Your f future is dim. It's, it's, it's. It's what? It's bad, Molly. It's so bad. Can't be that bad. Yes, Molly, follow me to the lab, and, and I'll show you what it saved on my computer. It recorded the future. Whoa, that sounds pretty fancy. Yeah, you can watch the whole thing like a movie. A sad movie. A pathetic movie! Wow, you're making my life sound, well, really horrible. Molly, just come with me. Whoa, Daisy, your science lab has seriously gotten an upgrade. Look at those! Those are the dual rays that send you back in time. <laughs> Wait, what, do I turn into a squirrel? No, 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 Molly. That's just my screen saver. Oh, well, um, when's the movie going to start playing? Any minute, Molly. Scanning for viruses. Um, well, I don't think my future is going to be that bad. Look what I saw, Molly. Look what I saw! I don't want to stay at your crummy motel anyway. Just because I didn't pay you for two weeks, I mean, doesn't mean you get to kick somebody out. Rude! I have no place to live. Ugh, my stomach is growling. Hmm, I wonder if I have any money. No! Aww, I'm hungry, I have no place to live. I kind of remember my teacher saying that if I didn't do my homework and pay attention, I was going to end up in this boat. But she's a liar! Ooh. I wonder if there's any leftovers at the motel. Hey, don't judge. I'm hungry. This dumpster has as good a food as any refrigerator. Ooh, leftover burrito. Mm, it doesn't even taste older than a week. Mm, that's pretty good. You know, I'm getting pretty sick of eating out of dumpsters and staying in these crummy motels. Mm, I need to do something to change this. <laughs> I just got a wonderful, wonderful idea. I could rob Brookhaven Bank. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. That means no one's going to be working at the bank. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is somebody working at the bank? Hello, we just changed our hours to 24. 24-7, <laughs> -seven, you can come in and start a bank account. Except for it doesn't even look like you have any money. Wait, what? Are you judging me right now just because I'm wearing these clothes? These are very fashionable. 
They're also half missing. <laughs> Before you start a bank account, you may want to upgrade your outfit. And what's that smell? Oh, uh, I had a dumpster burrito for lunch. Ooh, yuck. No, don't judge. They're pretty good. And they're free. Um, yeah, so, um, I am not here to start a bank account. What are you here to do? We don't let people sleep in the bank. What are you doing with that fire extinguisher? I am robbing the bank. Now, give me all the money. Oh, don't hit me with that fire extinguisher. No, you're going to ruin all the computers. Can I pay you in a, dur a Doritos or, or, or in a burritos or a taco? Are you nervous right now? Yeah, I've never been robbed before. Well, you're in luck. I've never robbed someone before or bank before or anything before, but I'm sick of staying in crummy hotels and eating out of dumpsters, so give me all the money. Okay, H here you go. Okay, give it to me! All right, I just don't want to lose my job. What? $27? Yeah, we don't carry cash overnight. Ah! I just robbed this bank for $27? I can't even buy a new pair of shoes! And as you can see, I'm not even wearing shoes. Um, I, I should have told you before. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Do I look like I care about rules? Wait, what's that? Did you call the cops? Yeah, it's protocol. Ah! Why did you do that? Wait, is that door locked? Yeah, also protocol. You're basically going to jail. Wait, no! Oh, here, you can have the $27 back. I don't really want it. Yeah, no, no, no. You wanted the $27. You need to stick with it. <laughs> Good luck in prison, criminal. Well, I guess at least I'll have um, three meals a day and a place to sleep. Yeah, and you'll be there forever! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. Hey, keep it quiet in there. I'm trying to eat my donut. Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten a donut in so long. Can I please have that? <laughs> Criminals don't get donuts. Give me it! G give me that donut! <laughs> I opened the door. Oh, close that door before she gets out! Who are you talking to? Oh yeah, I'm the only one here. Well, I closed the door and I ate the donut. <laughs> you do the crime, you do the time. Oh yeah, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you think that I can smell that, but I can't. You didn't punish me. Oh man, I'm stuck in here with stinking doo-doos! Ew! Oh, these old bones aren't what they used to be. Molly, um, I have great news for you. Oh, what is it, Sheriff? <laughs> I really need to take my nap. You've been in here for 60 years for robbing the bank, and today you're finally getting out. You can have your freedom. Really? Is this some sort of trick? No, and try to be a good person. I will try. Uh, no promises. Oh my gosh, freedom. This is amazing. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. Goodbye, cruel police station. Look at Brookhaven. It looks so different. I don't even think I need this walker anymore. I feel so footloose and fancy free. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, oh. Oh. oh my gosh, did that prisoner just die? Molly? Molly? Well, oh well, I guess she paid the price. <laughs> I guess I could do some CPR. Nope, not working. She's dead. Holy guacamole! Daisy! I, 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 I spend my entire life in prison for $27 and then I die in the street afterwards? Molly, I told you your future was dim. You need to change your ways, Molly. Oh, oh this is what's going to happen. Holy guacamole. Oh, man. Mm. Molly, what are you doing? There's no food allowed in my science lab. Sorry. I just eat when I'm stressed out, and this burrito tastes delicious. Molly! Sorry, you're sticking up the whole place with the smell of taco. It's a burrito, not a taco. Whatever, it smells like guacamole, gross. Sorry, <laughs> I really am just freaking out. Well, Molly, you can change your future at any time, and I can go and check on it if you like. You know, once you've changed your evil ways. Really? How? Well... 
I can, um, go into the future again. Oh, wow. That sounds crazy. Yeah, but you need to do something about not doing your homework, not listening. You know, basically being bad. I am. I'll never be bad again. Not ever! Um, but I can't promise not eating burritos. Mm, that's so good. Molly, get out of my lab!